Hey, and welcome to another Live and Uncut here at the Play On Studio. My name is Nicholas, and I've got with me in the studio... Gary. Welcome, Gary. Gary's played on the channel before. You've played Black Templar, you've played Knights, you've played... What else have you played on the channel? The pretty, 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 pretty I think it's pretty... Oh, no, Dark Angels. Dark Angels, I've right. Dark Angels I have known Gary for a while, and to be honest, I don't know if I've... I rarely, rarely beat Gary. I think the closest he's gotten was last time he tabled me and caused the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Gary is a fantastic player, uh, he's a fantastic friend, and uh, he um, he goes to a lot of tournaments and he wins a lot of games. So, I'm... Some, yeah, I think you win a lot of games. Some. You win a lot of games. Uh, <laughs> um, but we are playing a cool game here. We decided to extend the week of Tau to another week just because uh, people wanted to see the Tau Nar. This is a giant, the giant mech suit. Uh, that the Tau have, and so it is a forward model. It's humongous. It's almost 800 points. So it's the majority of my army. So, yeah. Um, it's gonna be fun. But we also said, let's just throw another big thing again across it. So you brought... Uh, I got Evan Knight Lancer, actually, in, uh, in this list. But this list is... Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing a team event next weekend. So this is actually my team's list. So I, I figured I might as well give it at least one or two practice games uh, before I go up there. <laughs> What better, what better chance to fight new tech? Yeah, there you go. Um, well, that's a perfect note. Uh, the lists are in the description below, but why don't you go through your list right here and tell us what's in your army. Okay. So let's we'll start over here. So I have a Land Raider Redeemer. Inside, I have Helbrick, uh, a Lieutenant with uh, Sword and Shield, and then five Sword Brethren. I've got the Kalidus Assa Assassin. <laughs> I have five desolators oh i hate you know, those things because you know they're not over costed or anything uh five infiltrators and then i have a razorback with five devastators with four grav cannons inside it's nice to kind of you know be able to give them the rerolls if they're not uh wounding vehicles on two ups uh hidden behind there i have a unit of five scouts and then over here i've got the knight lancer uh off the board i have Six Eradicators with the Apothecary and with the Fire Discipline Enhancement. So uh, the goal is to just have them walk on the board and just annihilate something. Uh, yeah, you, you probably will. Well, on my side of the board, I am gonna, I've decided to do the Cayune Detachment for this um, because I, yeah, I have a bunch of big stuff that is, I can't really do the Mon Cub with this. I didn't bring any Crisis Suits of this. So one of the Which first lists. Which is weird to see. Yeah, Very it's the one of the first lists I've taken no Crisis suits. Are we still popping? Dude, okay. We literally did like days of testing. So we're gonna say, Owen, get on it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try that. Okay. But I'll go through my army while that's happening. Apologize, we're working on it. We've got over here, we've got Devilfish, and over here we've got a Devilfish, filled with Breachers and Cadre Fireblade. Those are always fun. And then I've got right here, the Towner, of course. He's got the Pulse Ordnance Driver on top. And then for the side guns, I've taken the Fusion Eradicators. So on top, it's an anti-infantry two weapon that is just gonna mulch any infantry you let me see. My, my T4 infantry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the side guns are strength 10, D6 damage, five, five a piece. So it's a really good uh, anti-tank weaponry. So this thing really is all, all, an all-comer. He's an all-comer list all by himself. <laughs> But he only has a five up invul. Now. He only has a five up invul, no four up. Nick with that crisis is, I know, it's a little interesting. In the center here, I've got a ghost keel. He's infiltrated a little bit forward. Uh, he's great for holding objectives, so like that. And then I've got two unit of stealth suits hiding right here. Yep. Uh, great supporting units. I can now, they're, they're pretty camouflaged from where I'm looking right now. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Well, purposely, because I didn't want you to shoot them. And then I've got Shadow Sun leading the army right here and uh, in range to give rerolls. I've got two piranhas. Piranhas are a lot of fun. They're basically super fast and annoying. Uh, unit of broadsides here on the home objective, and lastly, a unit of crute holding the home objective because that great sticky. All right. Totally just broke it. Sorry? I broke my cow. This is you broke it. Oh, you broke. Oh, you broke the ponytail. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, that's sad. It's that's sad. Well, today we're playing Take and Hold, and Dawn of War Classic. Just made it really, really uh, straightforward and and fun. And uh, we also need to uh, uh, acknowledge the sponsor of the episode. We have Baron of Dice, sponsor of the episode. All of our dice are from the Baron. Uh, these gray dice, these orange dice. Let's see which are better. Definitely the orange dice today. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. You can get your own play on dice from the Baron. You can get, uh, you can find the affiliate link in the description below. Plus there's a discount link there too. You can have some fun with that and get your own dice. And they've also got lots of other artwork inspired by many armies and factions 
throughout different game systems, such as 40K, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Pretty much everything. Like that. Yeah. These objective markers are also from them, too, so if you're looking for that as well. Um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. All right. Fun. Yeah, I think we're ready. Are we ready? Are we ready, Owen? Ready. How's no. the popping? I'm never ready. Uh, less. Okay, well, less popping is good popping. Uh, we're going in the right direction. So, for the greater good, we've already deployed. Who's going first? Let's get right into it. I'm the greater good. Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't want to go first. No, you don't. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Gives me the advantage of to be able to react and move to you. Yeah, I, I don't like going first. Actually, you, you want to go first? Go ahead. I'm good. Sure. You sure? I don't know, you rolled the dice. The rules state that you got to I rolled the dice. I have to take it. <laughs> um, well, so, now I don't want to do. I can't see anything. Uh, like, So we the first thing, too, is that you you have a scout unit. So I, you I can, do have you one can choose scout to do scout your scout move, then I also have a scout unit as well. So whoever yeah. is the is going first does the first scout move. Do I want to scout want to. forward with the Kroot? <sighs> I can scout them forward. Can I hold the center objective? With where they are now at the moment? No, but no, for next turn. I'm wondering if on a following turn I can hold the center objective <laughs> enough to sticky it. It's gonna be. So I think uh, what a play that could have been done, realizing it now, is that if you would have deployed. Because do they have forward deploy? Uh, no, they don't have any Oh, they right. don't? Okay. No. No, just uh, just scout. And how far how far is their scout move? Seven inches. Well, it's actually, a good, it's a good long scout. So, so if you were within. No, it's just in the cusp. So. Well, I, I'm not worried about taking this this turn. I'm no, no, no. About... So what could have happened is that if it was closer, yeah. you could have deployed on the line, scouted up, and then started your turn on both, and then it would have been sticky. Oh, I never even thought of that. That's brilliant. Because, yeah, you're 10 inches away. If but I started it... here, then scout seven... Oh, no, I couldn't... It's, have... it's just... It's just shy. Just, just shy. Just shy. I can't actually do it. Um, that's okay. It would have been nice. Okay. Then, uh... Let's... I'm not going to scout. Go ahead. Okay. I'm good. All right. I don't want to hey, be a sure? shot off. Come on, come, come, come closer. No, I'm good. But I want to shoot hiding. things. You're giving me nothing. Like, I was nothing to see. That's very sad. You can see the assassin if you draw a line there, but you just got to come within 12. <laughs> it's only blown up. Come on. Well, you're going to give me nothing? Fine. I'm going to uh, go so kill these guys. Before moving, would you like to draw some cards? Yes, I would. <laughs> so you can tell that Gary's played a lot more than I have because I don't know what I'm doing. I've got bring it down, and I've got engage in all fronts. So bring it down. Hmm. Let's see Engage is doable. Engage is doable. Just come to me, Nick. Yes, I'm, well, I'm going to. I'm going to. Bring all I know your it's stuff close. But I'm going to go for it. So, so I can charge you. I'm going to go here and shoot all these guys. Yes. I do have a potential reactive move, but I'm What's not What's the reactive move? So if you move within nine inches of one of my infantry units, I can spend one command point, and it'll be a D6 move. If I'm in tactical doctrine, I would it'd be a full six inch move. Ooh, very nice. But I don't think it's worth it. I've got 10 inch guns, so I could just stay outside of nine. That's tempting. Okay. Uh, so you know what? Just to prevent that from happening, thank you for letting me know that. I'm going to go here, okay. hold on to the objective, and I'm going to play just outside of, of nine inches with uh, with all the uh, with all the breachers that are inside there. And we're going to see if we can wipe out that. What is that, an infiltrator unit? Infiltrator. No, that's a... So three, three of virus A, but they have a six up field update. Ooh, it's not going to help you. <laughs> I can deploy smoke and make the minus one to hit. Good, uh, good for you. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to deploy the breachers moving up here. Um, in the command phase, I do sticky my home objective here. So I'm going to put a little Marker. glass bead on here to represent that for my crute. So that means I will hold it even if I don't hold it any longer. Sticky objectives is very powerful. It is a very powerful, and I, I really like having this ability. I'll make sure everyone... Oh. I'm just gonna make sure everyone can shoot. And the intent is to try to stay outside of nine, nine. inches. I think. Can I manage to do that? The bases are small enough. Should be able to, yeah. There should, yeah. There should be no functional reason why not. All right, the unit's but there. Then, but then when you're doing that, you're moving quite a bit. Yeah. So that way you're holding. Well, they can also get up. So you're holding the. Can they? Like, I only moved 12. Yeah, but if you move, then you disembark. Oh, sorry. You yes, only yes, disembark yes. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I think I, I have to. I have to know my own rules, or, yes, or, or at least try to. And then my stealth make an suits attempt. will move up as well to supporting fire there. I can make you make reroll ones to hit and wound. Do I want to take the center? Ravenar, enough of that heresy talk. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can get... Uh, I could possibly get engaged if I sacrifice all my breachers. <laughs> you do mm. it. Sacrifice them to me. The Redeemer mm. loves things that come close. But just so you know, the Redeemer, 12, they have 12-inch guns. And I'm going to advance the Piranha. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice the Piranha. Get engaged on all fronts there. Okay. So, Piranha's advancing. You can kill him if you want. I can't see him. Next, uh, in your turn, when you move up. <laughs> in front of the towner? Um, That's a great idea. I'll just put all my army there. The Croots are going to... They're going to move up as well. Uh, advancing, sorry, advancing. So they're moving a total of eight inches. And they're going to hide behind this building here. Do you want to reroll that to try to get them on the objective? Make yeah. it sticky next turn? You can, you're just going to kill them! Oh, here's a little cameraman right here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, the Nick get a command point. Oh, I do get a command point. So I should be at one command point. Thank you for those, that. Those are my work pants. I actually came straight from work to here. Okay, yeah, you need to show off, show off your pants there. Are, are, are you wearing? No, you're not those wearing them. Pants. You're not doing them. I don't have my pajama pants today. Gary is known for showing up to events and games wearing pajama pants. Yeah, so it may potentially be a bad omen. <laughs> Uh, drone harassment from the piranhas. Uh, that is interesting. I have to make you, I can make you take a battle shock test. I didn't land within range of it, and I don't think I want to just throw away this piranha. Um, Are you sure? It'll be fun. Okay, so you know what? I am going to th throw away this piranha. He's going to go over here so I can get some missiles sure. on your. Uh, on Does that your is equipped with a melter? It is equipped with a melter, but it has two the one shot seeker missiles. So I can do four one-shot seeker missiles into there. Dare you. How dare I? How dare you. I dare, dare. I dare very much. Scales roll nothing before us. And I'm gonna move up this uh, this preacher fish. Get ready. Get ready. You know what? I'm gonna move it onto the objective. Yes. Come. Come to me, Nick. Onto the objective. Just touch the objective there. Just tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> twelve inches of the redeemer. I might be within twelve inches. I thought it was out. You're within twelve. Inches. Okay. I don't know what that does. Take a battle shock test. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do much, but well, yeah, it's good to just like get get the uh, go through the. And your moon phase, someone within twelve, take a battle shock I test. Yeah. My land raider's battle shock. Land raider's battle shock. <laughs> It'll make so much difference. I saw an interesting idea there, on the internet. Put a little marker there. For a change to make battle shock more effective, I loved it. I I, I want to try it sometime. That battle shock when you do when you get battle shocked, you stay battle shocked until you pass a test. So it doesn't go away at the beginning of the turn. I thought that was an interesting adjustment. Hmm. And so, so in this scenario, that would stay battle shocked until you pass the test. So it's right in my command phase. I'd have to roll again. In your command phase, you'd get a chance to roll chance to roll. try to take out the to take out the battle. But shock. then, would you be able to use the insane bravery? Yes, you'd still on be able that? to use the insane bravery. That makes That's, that, that makes it like it would, it would make rough. it would make battle shock really strong. Oh yeah. I, I'd Especially be, like dealing with all the, uh, yeah. like, the chaos night stuff and all their battle shock. Yeah, right now, battle shock is kind of like a little. You gotta be, you gotta use it right. It's gotta hit like in the certain, you gotta set everything up properly for it. <laughs> um, great. Shadow Sun, does he wanna move up? Does she wanna move up? I don't wanna move anything else because right now you can't shoot me. You don't have a ton of shots, but you have some good shots. They're okay shots. <laughs> Those are out of line of sight shots, aren't they? Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 200 points of no line of sight, mostly strength for shooting, <laughs> but no AP. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do here. I think I'm just gonna... What's the range on his no line of sight shooting? 30 inches, so I'm out of range of... Oh, okay. He's gotta, he's gotta, he can move into that terrain. Okay. I'm not going to. So the Townar is gonna give up all his amazing shooting and just sit there and be like, meh. Yeah. But again, if I went first, then I've got to move up into position mm -hmm. and it gives you an opportunity to like just touch and start shooting things. Yeah, and... because this thing's so big, it just has to touch the terrain and they can shoot through it. Yeah, it's got the, the towering yeah. keyword. Towering Very keyword. Important. So I do have out of line of sight. I, I, I have a little more than I thought. Uh, these bre these broadsides also have the out of line of sight shots. Okay. So let's go to the shooting phase. All right. Uh, are the broadsides all shield drones? No, I like to go with the missile drones. Uh, I, I find that when the broadsides get shot at, they just die anyways. Like if someone's shooting enough firepower to kill them, they generally die. And an extra two wounds is not going to help them much. So. Yeah. Well, this doesn't really have like the full long range shooting, but it's got like it wants to get close and just start, yeah, mulching things. <laughs> okay, let's 
do it. Gary doesn't speak much. I don't know. I mean, he's a little quiet, but he's... I think you're comparing it to the boisterous Nick that often is very loud and maybe too excited. It's also Nick's turn, and he's also explaining everything that he's doing in the stop press. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I just want to answer a couple questions over in the chat yep. there. Uh, somebody said where the train is from. This train is all from Game Map. Yeah, all this resin train is from Game Map. It's great stuff. Uh, they've been one of the sponsors for the show for a while. What about these cool, cool markers? Yeah, these they cool markers? markers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to shout them out. Uh, uh, Table War uh, makes these. And so uh, uh, I was at Adepticon recently, and they said, here you go. Here's a bunch. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll use them. They're great, great for free promotion. Great for live streams like this. Oh, yeah. They're just, it's good in general because it's nice because it like kind of blends yeah. into the table too, right? Partially, part of me is like, it doesn't feel immersive. Like, so part of me, the narrative side of me is like, Arr! but for, if you're doing, if you're doing a live stream where you need clarity and you're not able to go for those, those nice close-up shots and stuff like that, you yeah. don't have commentary explaining yeah. everything. Um, it's almost like playing an actual game of 40k. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm not going to move anything else. We're going to go on the shooting phase. Marker, uh, the guiding phase, essentially. Okay. We are going to guide the uh, stealth suits, are going to guide the breachers, firing at these infiltrators. What does that do? Gives me plus one to hit. It okay. also, because these guys are the ones guiding them, they also get uh, reroll ones to hit and reroll ones to move. Do okay. anything about that? And it's, they're they're going to be hitting on twos. They already hit on threes. So I can do that. Now you can smoke if you want. Right? I'm not allowed to smoke indoors. <laughs> All right. Breachers, going ahead with a bucket full of dice. They get 30 dice. Or six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Which might be a bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. I should have had this prep before. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so 30 dice from the so breach. What I could have done is started the clock on you. That's what I said. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Hitting on twos, because I guided them, re-rolling ones. So I hopefully that I don't miss any. This was turn three. I'd be also getting sustained hits on all those beautiful stuff. Oh, I, I remember that with the, the crisis bombs and yeah. the shenanigans. So I still failed one. Uh, the Monk Ka one allows you to get lethal hits for the first three turns on sixes, which is also kind of cool. I think with the way the game is right now, I think lethal is better. Especially if you're, especially if you're dumping is very volume. interesting, yeah. Um, I was tempted to take that one, this one. Uh, I took Kaiyun just because I got someone else to build this list, one of our patrons from, from oh, the Discord. Yeah. And uh, he put it in Kaiyun. I was like, all right, let's do it. All right. Fair enough. I'm running a, for me, this is a more casual style. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> all right, so you are T4? Yeah, just T4. Strength six, so winning on threes. We're rolling rolling ones because of the stealth suit's back. Yeah. Uh, okay, a few rerolls there, and taking out the twos and the ones. I think the unit is toast. What's the AP on this? AP one, uh, one would a piece. So you have a lot. Four, five, six, I'm seven, gonna roll yours. Yeah, roll these. You can be roll easier. Yeah, easier. I think that'll be a lot better. I think there's 25 there. Yeah, that's fine. Even if I armor it contempted, it'd be saving on threes, but I don't think it'd be yeah. worth it. So let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna pull the fails. Uh, did I wipe them? You rolled really good though. I think I got them. So. Whoa, 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 big guy. No? Oh, you got a feel no pain, don't you? Yeah, I got some feel no pains going on there you here, go. champ. But they're dead as of right now? Maybe. <laughs> Sixes. One, two, three. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's one guy left. One guy left. Yeah. Huh. Just enough for the counter fire blade, this, the commander in the unit, to shoot his gun. He's going over here. So he hits you all three times. He's dead. Uh, he wounds you. Oh, oh, yes. And that was a six that got bumped. So that is actually three wounds at minus uh, minus two, because they're they're not devastating. Minus two or minus three? It's, it's high, though. Let's roll some dice. Yeah. Keep rolling yours. Yeah, so. it does two damage each. Two damage each? Yeah. I'll roll. I'll roll my dice. <laughs> the uh, counter fire, when he gets get get six to wound, he, uh, he tried. They become good. All right, excellent. Boom. What a good first blood there. Um, yes. That was fun. And then... Not all according to plan. All right. Tell me about this. Make sure I'm doing this correct. Okay. To guide something, you have to be eligible to shoot. Yes. Now, these guys have a lot of sight weapons. This isn't in range, but it is, but these are eligible to shoot. Don't think I can... Can I guide into that, then? Can I see the... Give your book? Yeah. Let me see the rule. Here, you, I'll, I'll, someone, I'll, someone will say something, but... Yeah, I, I'm... I'm I, it's the new book, the and I haven't seen any of it. The interaction is a little interesting, so that, that's the only okay. reward there. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering if I can guide with this um, into one of these guys. 
In the meantime, I will fire the remainder shots I have. If it's not an observer unit, it gives the ability. Yeah. So I'm trying to shoot the Piranha into the Lancer and the Devilfish into the Lancer. And so if I can't guide with that, you know what? I don't think I can. Need line of sight. Yes, right. You, no, I can't. I remember. You have to have line of sight to guide. Right. So even though I'm out, I have to be eligible to shoot and have line of sight. Okay. These guys don't have line of sight. They cannot guide. So I will just guide. Doesn't matter. These are both exact same stats. So the piranha will guide the devilfish into the big giant lancer, lancer. thing. What is it called? Lancer. I and I'm also going to spend one command point to uh, use coordinate to engage. I'm going down to zero command points. So is this a battle line strat? This is a battle tactic strat. Battle tactic. Uh, what does it do? So what it does is, so this this guy is guiding this guy. Yeah. This guy gets plus one to his ballistic skill. Okay. If I use coordinate to engage, this guy also benefits from it. So basically both of them can get the benefit. What are their uh, battle... What are the battle tactic stratagems yeah. do I have? I also have point blank ambush which I can improve uh, armor penetration if I'm within nine, but okay. I can only use that from round uh, three on. Okay. And then I also have Attempting Trap, which I'm definitely going to use at some point, but I can only use it turn three on, where I choose a, one of the No Man Land objectives or my home objective, and I reroll all wound rolls against a tar uh, anything that's in range of that objective. It's a really cool one. It's interesting. It's but interesting. it only works for turn three, four, five. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking about Vecting it because I got the Assassin. Yeah, right? you, you could do uh, one Vect, yeah. So those are my three so battles. So basically, it gives. Oh, sorry, I have one more. One more. Wall of Mirrors, which is uh, at the end of your fight phase, I can pick up either the stealth suits, the ghost keel, or the other stealth suits and put them into reserves. Okay, that's your up and down yeah. stuff. Um, and this also gives plus one to hit to a unit as well. This one, wait, sorry. This, no. this guy is guiding this guy, okay. which gives him plus one ballistic skill. Okay. Using coordinate to engage also makes this guy benefit from as well. So he also gets uh, improved the ballista skill And he by still one. gets to shoot? Yeah, he still gets to shoot. Okay. He always still gets um, to shoot one of the guys. Yeah, I think I'll wait off on the Vec. Sounds good. It also gives me ignore cover on this guy. Oh, it also gives me ignore cover. For the one, the one that's benefiting from it. Mm, you know what? I'll Vec it. Okay, Vec it. So from now ignore on... Ignore cover can be pretty, pretty powerful. From now on, that command point will be it costs two, two to do that ability. That's fine. I probably won't have enough to do it. <laughs> Starting with the Delfish, okay. two big giant missiles. The Seeker Missiles. Normally hitting fours, going to threes. Ooh, got, got the one. The one. Got the one hit. One, one hit. hit. One hit. Strength, uh, strength high. What's your toughness there? Well, well, I believe I am 12 as well, but I'm just going to double check because a Seeker Missile is strength 14, right? Ah, yeah. The one shot again. Oh, it's a miss. And I don't have a command Good. point. Ah. Oh. Moving. <laughs> Small violin just for you, Nick. Moving on to the Piranha, who's also going to fire into you. And, oh, what, uh, what is that? No, because I vected it. These are really powerful missiles. Like, these are all, like, all one that do D6 I have, plus one I have damage. One, I have one on each of my land raiders that basically do the same thing. They hit on twos, strength Yeah, I, I have four there. I have another four here. Okay. Um, like, that, like, I could have, like, if I rolled perfectly, I could have killed it. Um, and I failed my saves with a reroll. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay, well, that was an easy turn because I got nothing else. All right. Uh, your cards. Yeah. So I did get engaged on all fronts because I ran up the piranha there. So you're gonna get three points for that. Uh, yes, I'm gonna get three points for that for having three table quarters. Yep. And then I'm going to. You want to keep bringing it down? It's an interesting question because I each one of these guys is worth. He's worth four. Probably four. He's worth five. Yeah. So I don't think I can that bring it down to like one. two or three. Yeah, probably three there for that guy. So oh, that's an interesting one. But you're not gonna give me opportunities to kill him if I keep it. You know what? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna hold on to bring it down. All right. And so I need front. Three points, please, Owen. And then we go to Gary's turn, and I go up by one command point at the beginning of Gary's turn. Oh yeah. I go up to two command points. I'm no longer... rolling well again, I see. Yep. Uh, I'm no longer <laughs> battle shocked. So I get to uh, there's a couple things I gotta decide. I gotta decide my oath of moments, uh what doctrine I would like to be in, if I wanna go into one. And I think. I don't really need to go into a doctrine. I still can't believe I rolled double ones. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go into no, no doctrines. I'm gonna leave it as is for now because you don't have to go into them, but they're only one use per game. No. Uh, for my oath of a moment target, I'm going to choose. How many wounds does this guy have? Thirteen. How many wounds does this guy have? Like seven. 
Uh, let's go. I'm going to owe the moment the Devilfish. The Devilfish has been owed. It's always good to have markers when you're doing stuff like this. Seven moons, yep. Uh, other than that. So, so we're getting a tournament crash course with Gary? Eh, Jump like a series of that. Kinda, kinda. <laughs> uh, other than that, away we go. Chris, I really appreciate that. The oh, no, place maybe trade you the towel. So I'm gonna draw my well. cards. Would you would you like to cut the deck, Nick? I trust you. That was your mistake. <laughs> uh, deploy teleport homers. Alright. Capture enemy outposts. So capture enemy outposts, of course, is take my home objective. Very tough to do in the first turn. And deploy teleport homers is do an action either in the center or for more points in my deployment zone. Both it would, it would also have been nice to up. have my guys. Wouldn't it have been nice to have those units? Yeah. See, fine, fine, It'll be tough for you to do either of those. See how you want to play this yeah. game. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start uh, moving. The Lancer moves 14 inches. He's just going to mosey on up because he's a Lancer. When is Tycho playing against Michael, Jensen says? Um, don't know. Don't have that schedule. We are filming a game of Michael versus Moobin on Monday. We're filming the Thousand Suns versus Necrons. That's going to be fun. Uh, they're both. They both decided to bring really hard-hitting lists, and I'm like, oh boy, this is gonna be a could be a rough game. Let's move over to here. Hmm. Knight comes up. Got it. Seven. So for those of you who've never experienced this knight, he is insane in close combat. He charges things, and they just die. He gets essentially free tank shock. He doesn't essentially get it. He does. He does, is it a tank shock ability? Yeah, so he gets tank shock for zero CP. That's what it is, yeah. Okay, so he can't do tank shock twice, but... And yeah. then his big lance thing is really powerful. Disembark the... If he does this right, students. he can potentially just pick up everything there. Maybe. We'll see. I was really, really banking on damaging that thing. <laughs> oh, Nick. Are we having an orc week when the codex drops? We probably will not have an orc week. I am sorry to say. Um, I've been Moving building my Custodes army in anticipation of it, though. So I have, I have, I have a Custodes army now. I'm also a Custodes player. You didn't know that, Gary? I did. I just forgot. <laughs> I've played a couple games now, Cows and I'm, in, I'm, in, up there. I'm enjoying the difference of it. It's a very different army. Hmm. Taylor. Love from Georgia, thank you very much. Love from Canada. Trying to see if you can jump on the objective. So, no, actually I can't because of the spots that I'd have to go around, so I lose just a little bit of movement. That's uh, okay. Your mic is uh, loose. Maybe I want to clip it on, put on your shirt a bit better there. <laughs> Maybe that's you can't hear me. Good? Uh, point it upwards rather than at your chest. <laughs> but we see more Never Eldar did. on the channel. Uh, we might. We might. Maybe. Yeah. Um, you might see them on the King of the Colosseum, which the next season of it is coming out very soon. Uh, if you don't know what King of the Colosseum is, it's our exclusive series where we do very 500 point quick cutthroat games of like this. We made this Colosseum where you play these like really highly tactical games and. I did, I did one of those games. It was, uh, yeah, it was very don't, interesting. Don't, and fun. don't, don't, don't say, don't spoil it. But I'm glad you have fun. Thing. It's all yeah, thing. glad you have fun. Um, oh, yeah. I think I've done. I've done. I've moved all my units. <laughs> Ready to remove all yours. You gonna remove all mine? Yeah. I think you might. Okay. Right, so let's start with shooting. We'll go uh, the Razorback first. We're gonna do hundred killer missile into the Piranha. The other shots into the Devil. Nice. And Chris, yes, that is the Studio Lancer, and those are 3D bits from Deadly Print Studios that they sent us for the Lancer. They're cool stuff. Yeah. All right. Ready to go there. Into the Devilfish. Three hits. T9. T9, Winnie on five. Twin Link. Uh, two AP1. All right, four ups. Same bow. Right. Uh, the Storm Bolter. One hit. One wound from the Storm Bolter. Do I, for chance, have cover from the edges yes. out there? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, that's why I should have That's fine. Um, Stay in the lead, Town Neck. I'll try! 
<laughs> and the hunter killer missile into the piranha hits. Wounds. Ooh. Uh, AP three. All right. I have a four up. Uh, I don't think I have cover from that perspective. No. So four, five, six, seven. Oh, you can't get it. AP three. Oh, so excellent. Through. Yes. I have seven wounds to go two through. Two. Hit two. <laughs> so I've got five wounds remaining on the piranha. Okay, oh, yeah. so because the Razorback has shot the Devilfish, the unit that disembarked this turn gets full rerolls to wound against that target. Ooh. So now because I've oathed it, oh, I, have I, full, I have complete full rerolls. Against both of those units? Have, no, oh. only the... Um, only the Devilfish. Yeah, you, okay. you nominate one unit. Got it, that makes sense. So I'm going to spend one command point for... Uh, Adderall saying, uh, Plan's been loving the massive battles of late. Yes. So later on in the stream, actually at the end of the first turn, we're going to show a trailer for a massive battle that is coming out. We have two massive battles in the early access right now. A massive battle of Helm's Deep. We played Lord of the Rings, Helm's Deep. It was awesome. Here, you play Helm's, you, you play Lord of the Rings, don't you? Yeah, I played uh, yeah. a long time ago. Helm's yeah. Deep was probably like my fun. I had like a massive bird Our game was so much fun. Yeah, it was, it was a ton Did, of fun. Didn't even invite you. I should have, I didn't even think of you. It's because you haven't played in a while. I've not played in many movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're gonna go I'm gonna do uh, Storm of Fire on the Devastator unit, which yep. is gonna give them, ignores cover. If I was in Devastator Doctrine, I'd also get plus one AP to this as well. Mm. Okay. So it's just ignore cover. So it'll just be AP one. Uh, all of their shooting is gonna go into the Devilfish. So are you just ignoring your secondaries then? What? You're, like you're not you're gonna bother with them? Well, how am I supposed to deploy Teleport Homers? You can advance the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just for that. All right, the grab cannons. <laughs> I'm hitting on fours. Into the devilfish. Full rerolls. Into, into this right here. Into the devilfish. Got it. Five hits so far. <laughs> Plus another three. Plus, I can use the armor cherub once per game. Turn any hit into a six. So my average of nine hits has continued. I always roll an average of nine hits with that unit with a with awesome. reroll. Uh, when are you on twos? Because anti-vehicle two plus. Oh, fun. Oh, and I'll take the ones. But you get full re rolls. Yeah, of course. You get free, full re rolls. There we go. So nine AP ones ignoring cover. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine four ups from the Devilfish. Brum. How much damage does this do? Three each. Three each. Three, six, nine, twelve. Plus, uh, no, you didn't do a wound before, did you? Nope. So I have one wound remaining. <laughs> Combi bulletin. Oh, of course. Hits. Dev wound. Oh no! Yes. Oh, yes. Can't even save it. Does it explode? Yeah. It does not. But this is a play on live stream where you must reroll all explosion results. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, it, fail. it doesn't. It doesn't do it. I was hoping for it. That would have been fun. You had the two together. <laughs> so, um, oh, what am I doing? One? No, it's gone. Devilfish has been destroyed. And that was the Lancer that did it? No, nope. that was just the. the oh, that was that to... unit, right? Yeah. And a comment from 4G Aiken. Uh, yes, I do paint my Tau myself. I enjoy painting my Tau. They're my army. Oh, yeah. I did get some help with the crew from Tycho and Brent, though. Um, so I got some of the scouts. Got line of sight here. So we'll just see my ranges 24. But the shotgun's out. <laughs> I'm the needle like so, so. <laughs> you, want, you want the laser? I get the no, laser. No, you can have it. You can have it. It's just like, it's because there's a lot of dot, dot here, dot here. You're I like know. going right to the razor back. back. I know. There's like one or two that can see him? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So basically, I got like these two, pretty yeah, much these two well. front guys. But it's missile. Well. So the Lancer's going to kill them all. You don't even need to do this. So I'm going to do frag missile? Yeah. No, oh, no, in the box doesn't count. <laughs> oh, yeah. Frag missile gets three shots. No hits. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bolt here. <laughs> all right. I'm glad we did that. Um, then we're gonna go the Lancer shooting. I believe it has six shots. I don't actually really want this too often, so. Real Knights, Lance Slates, and it. Ranged. Uh, six shots, strength six, AP zero, sustained hits two, assault. Nice. All right, so they're gonna shoot into the Piranha. Okay. So six shots. Only, oh, I knocked that. Jensen Brooks, how long did it take you to paint your whole tower army? Well, I'm not done yet, so I'm still working on it. So uh, what's, what's the toughness on it? The piranha? Seven. Seven. Fives. 
One. One AP zero, two damage. Four up! I got it! Bounce off his armor. Five. Fine. Sorry I'm late. Please restart. <laughs> T7, eh? T7. Yeah, the piranhas are just annoyingly great. They're very cheap, and they, too. And they're four up armor? Uh, four up armor, yep. Okay, so I'm just kind of think what I want to do. The flamers probably could wipe, wipe them out. They're only strength six. I'm winning on five, so it's kind of... Oh, okay. Fair enough. It's a crapshoot, but I think I'll go... Splitting fire is always bad, but... <laughs> hey, I've got a button for that. Is it working, Owen? Did we set it up? Let's try it. All right, we got a button for that. Let's see if, uh, see if it works. Uh... <laughs> Split okay. fire to victory! I know, right? So <laughs> the, the audio's not hooked up. It's supposed to be hooked up through. So the multi melt is gonna shoot into the devil fish, <laughs> and then um, the hunter the hunter killer is gonna shoot into the devil fish. Everything else is gonna shoot into the piranha. Got it. Okay. So we'll do the flame storm cannons into the piranha first. Nice. Uh, six plus six, so twelve <laughs> shots. <laughs> Nick, please split fire the towner at every opportunity. Oh, I will. I will. Hey, okay, uh, I need five ups to wounds. Oh, there it is. That's some good ones. So that is five AP2 ignoring cover. <laughs> five AP2. So three, four, fives. I save two of them. Two damage each. Two damage each. Two, four, six. I have uh, seven wounds remaining on that devilfish. Oh, no, no, no. It's, sorry, it's the. Oh, sorry, sorry, wounds did I take? Two, Took. four, six. Oh, I have one wound remaining. One remaining. Okay. I have one wound remaining on the on the piranha. Sorry, so, I got the wrong good. unit right. It's okay. Uh, the assault cannon, the twin assault cannon. Piranha. This is still in the piranha. piranha. Yes, this yeah. is still in the piranha. Okay, just and one then I have a storm bolt there in there yeah. as well. So, one dev wound. <laughs> Even just like one dev wounding that last wound out. It's great. Love it. So then it's gone. Does it explode? Does it explode? Doesn't really matter. Reroll. It. it doesn't explode. Let's so get all the bad rolls out of the way. There now, you right? go. Okay. Piranha's out of there. So let's go multi melt it into the devilfish. One hit. Uh, one wound. AP four. Uh, so you have cover. Yeah, definitely. I'll take off the, take my six up. Ah, oh, so because it was because it goes with th two. Goes to a three. So basically, AP four yeah. essentially reduces to AP three. So your three up armor goes to a six up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I had to get a six. I was making D sure I had to get a five. D six plus. Ooh, am I? Are with you probably on melt the range? I'm melt range. Yeah. Yes. D six plus two. Seven damage. Ooh, six wounds remaining on the devilfish. All right, now the hunter killer missile. Hurrah! Hits. Wounding on, what's the toughness, nine? Uh, toughness, uh, toughness nine, yeah. That's a wound, AP three. Oh, uh, here it is. Now, it's, now it's a five. Uh, I got it! Uh, he lives! It's fine. Nick. Excellent. It's fine. It's fine. fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got these desolators. They want to shoot at some stuff. So what's the what's the the stat line on the suits? Minus one hit. They got stealth. Are okay. uh, they're T four? Two wounds each. Rip safe. No no invul. No invul. They're easy to kill. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is all the castle launchers into the breachers. That makes sense. And then the Vengor launcher into. All right. So you're you're, you're splitting fire again. Do we I'm press the button again? again? Yes. <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but it's it's pretty obnoxious. It's, it's really, really loud. Okay, so I'll do the I'll do the Vanguard launcher first. D6 shots for three. Hitting on twos normally, and then now I'm hitting on threes. Because the desolator stood stand, stood still, they ignore yeah. cover and they ignore the penalties. So I have one hit. Oh, uh, strength seven. That's a wound. Uh, AP one. Oh, sorry. On these guys. On. They're minus one to wound. Stealth suits. So stealth suits. And they're minus one to hit, but you already had the minus yeah. one to hit. Nope. How much damage? Two damage. Killed one. Yay. Ah! Right. Oh, is Owen fixing it? <laughs> right. So now all of the castle launchers. Uh, so we'll go two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus, you have a, that's a ten man unit? That's a ten man unit. Plus ten more dice for cool. blast. Oh, because they all have, oh, it's 11 guys, actually. Uh, they do have a, a guardian drone, which means I'll be minus one to be wounded. How dare you? <laughs> so I'm hitting, uh, so they're not minus one to hit, though? Not minus one to be okay, hit. Okay, so hitting on threes. <laughs> Winning on fours, because you're T3, correct? Poor, poor, poor breacher. T3, yep. 
Minus one to be wounded. Uh, got rid of a couple. All right, yeah. So only six. Oh, only six. Ignoring ignoring cover, so just what your regular armor is. Which is a four up. I had two. <laughs> oh, you rolled one too many. Oh. Um, so I'll just take one of those away. Are you sure? Or yeah, yeah, no, 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 let's do that. Okay. Um, look at that, sportsman. This is why Gary's nickname on all his t-shirts in the back says best sportsman. I actually put it on there myself because I never got it. And then <laughs> I started winning it. It's really funny. <laughs> so I'm going to take the guys close to the Lancer to try to make it a harder charge. It's okay. not going to make a much harder charge, but it's fine. Make a little bit harder charge. Okay. Um, I think it's now charge. Wait. Nick, have you played the crew detachment? I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, the Rampagers, I haven't been able to make work yet, but I like them. I like the concept of them. Studio right. is a little quiet. That's fine. Uh, the Lancer charging in, sorry. My declared target will be the uh, the Breacher Squad. All right, before you go into them, uh, what's the range of that? Or can you move them? Uh, no, I can photon grenade them. What does that do? Minus two your charge range. Ooh. And take a battle shock test. And take a battle shock test. All right, do it. I'm within five. Okay, well, the the Breachers, as you declare a target at them, is it only the Breachers you're charging? Yeah. Okay, so you're within five, so I'm gonna make it a seven. If you, something works. <sighs> Yeah, I, I just sent Ben 1 CP. So 1 CP, down to 0. Okay. Uh, you are now minus to the charge. You need a 7 on the dice. Plus, take a battle shock test right now. I'm good. That's a 6. <laughs> All right. And then see if you get that 7. Because if I would have failed, I wouldn't have been able to use tanks. I know. It would have been awesome. All right, so 7. Oh, I got a 10. All right. Brilliant. He's hungry. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's very hungry. Okay, so 6 inches. <laughs> now I got another four. Plan table up. Are you planning any Space Wolf matches? Oh, we'd love to play some Space Wolf matches. Actually, you know what Tycho is painting right now? Is 30k Space Wolves. Um, Interesting. Yeah, we have a Space Wolf 30k army. It's quite small. We we have promised, but we haven't done it yet, is a Prospero uh, battle between Thousand Suns and Space Wolves. And so we're uh, we're still working on that one. But yeah, that is on the on the on the on list. The docket. On the docket. Okay, so I'm going to use my free tank shock that I get. <laughs> should I just take these guys off? I kind of feel like I should. So I'll be, I'll, there's a good chance I'm going to pick up six of them. <laughs> Jared, let's see it. It's kind of fun to roll dice, isn't it? That's why we're here. Uh, so it goes based on my, the highest strength that I have, which is 20. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm higher strength than your toughness. I get plus two, so I get 22 dice. 22! Uh, so tank shock is a stratagem. Uh, you roll as many dice as you have the highest strength of your weapon. Yeah. And then plus two if you have higher toughness, but you're trying to get fives and sixes. So it's plus two if your strength is higher than yeah. the... the I need fives and sixes. Do mortal wounds. To do mortal Let's wounds. Go right through the armor. Yeah, so that's six dead. Yeah. <laughs> six dead. One, uh, two, wait, three, wait, four, wait. five, six. Now, six is your maximum. You could have gotten more, but... Six is the max, and that's yeah. all I rolled out of 22 dice. Oh, wow. Wow, that's uh, actually kind of yeah. surprising. So, like, I, so needed, I, I, needed I have, to... on that objective, I have one Breacher and the Contra Fire Blade left in the objective. What's the... <laughs> what's the... Um, uh, that was three. That was three. Does, he have a, does the uh, character no. have an invul? No. no. He does have five wounds, though. Ooh. So bring it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the uh, the sweep, the sweep. Uh, yeah. So Why dice. are we rolling this? Because it's a dice game. Yeah. If I just rolled all ones right there, nothing happens, right? You always, you always gotta roll it outside. So Oregon, if I roll all ones to wound, nothing yeah. happens. Uh, so now, now it's uh, seven AP. <laughs> AP two. Just taking them AP2. off. AP two. Come on. Just taking them off. Fine. Let's see if I can roll twenty sixes. I rolled it's only, one. It's only seven. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Thanks, game. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm now. What do you want to pile into? You want to pile in both? I'm piling into both. Yep. Both are getting touched. I'm gonna base the product. I'm gonna base this guy. Okay. The stealth suits try to hit you. Oh look, they hit you once. Do I get a six? I don't. The piranha tries to hit you. The piranha has two armored hull hits. Misses them both. I wasn't expecting much, so. <laughs> uh, Owen is on the streamer today, if people are asking. He is doing the switching and he is um, he's doing that aspect. So thank you, Owen, for that. Right there. The popping's gone. Well, okay, a big round of applause for Owen. We have been working really, really hard on that. So I'm assuming that it's solved. <laughs> I was hoping, hoping. Uh, so I'm actually going to get rid of Deploy Teleport Homer and Capture Enemy. 
All right. Which gives you an extra command point for one of them. For one of them, so I go up to two. And, and then, then the other one just gets passed. Yeah. Then we're gonna go to round two. So Nick is currently winning by three points. I'm currently winning! Oh, no, I'm winning by more than that. Because well, at, at the end the of the round. Oh, fine. Because at the now, the beginning of the round. The beginning of the round, I'm gonna score a bunch of points. But we're gonna do a few things before we go into the next turn. So yes. I'm just gonna put this here for getting command points. So just for scorekeeping so that Owen can do it in the background there. I'm, I go up to one command point. You go up to three command points. Yeah. I'm gonna score, well, yeah, six. Uh, so I have six ones here. I could be battle shocked. Uh, oh, because you're under starting strength. under So 13. you do have to take a battle so shock test. So the Devilfish has to take a battle shock test to see if I hold this objective, which I do with flying colors. So I hold this objective. I hold Back this objective. Back in that edition, that'd be a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a total of 10 primary points for holding two objectives right here. And so put my score up to 13. I'm winning for now. And uh, Chris, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for Good the job, Chris. And before we go into turn two, we wanted to just uh, uh, just tell someone something really quick because we have a cool trailer to show you of one of uh, one of the games that's coming up. And the reason we want to show you too because we're really excited about it. There's actually two games we're really excited about that we worked incredibly hard on. Uh, like usually a game takes us about uh, maybe about uh, you know 60, 70 hours to edit. This is probably triple that. Um, so we played a massive, massive game of, uh, it was a Tyranids versus, a massive Tyranid force versus uh, Dark Angels, White Scar, Ultramarine Alliance against the Trident. And it was, it was an all day game and it was crazy cool. And we have finally finished it and we have a trailer. The trailer's actually up online, you might've seen it already, but we wanted, we wanted to show it because we're really excited about it. It's coming out next week, but the early access for our YouTube and Patreon members is going out uh, uh, this weekend, Sunday, Sunday. So, Sunday. Are you have you had that queued up, Owen? Take it away, Owen. Hive fleets, Leviathan, and Behemoth are blending their tendrils to become bigger and badder than ever. Epic, epic clash of what is going to be one of the best games in history. Space Marines, attack! I shall take the kill. This is the Redemptor looking back at the line and be like, I got another one! Let's see what they do in retaliation. Let's show them how the hive mind reinforces things. That is a literal wall of norms. So anyways, I'm gonna start blasting. This is ridiculous. What's going on? How do we let that happen? Hello, Lionel Johnson speaking. Oh, hey, Bobby G. You what? Well, I hope you enjoyed that awesome trailer. Wow, you made it back in time. You went to try to get some water. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that awesome trailer. Basically, that is a massive game of 40K that we played. We had a lot of fun. We've been working our butts off trying to edit it. It has some of the coolest effects and awesome things in it and some great storytelling and some really, really fun moments. Four player game, uh, three player? Four player, three player. Three player game, a lot of fun. Um, as I said, it's coming out on Sunday for early access. So if you're a YouTube member or Patreon member, I got to see it this Sunday. Um, so that's, you know, you know, wink, wink, nag, nudge, nudge, you know, join our membership. It helps us, literally keeps the lights on, literally allows us to keep playing these games and making those awesome content, and you get to see cool stuff like that. There's also uh, a prelude to it, a prequel, that is out right now that's an exclusive game just for our YouTube members and Patreon members, it's basically a game leading up to the big game. It's another cool matchup leading up to that big giant game. So you can go see that right now. Later on, at the end of turn two, we'll show you another trailer for the other big game, Helm's Deep, a massive Lord of the Rings game that also took us way too long to edit and film and all that kind of stuff. We'll show you that to you later. And probably um, play. And, oh, it's 12 hours. We were so tired. <laughs> but let's get back to this game, because we're right. having fun, and I'm winning. <laughs> Currently. Yes. Good job, Nick. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. <laughs> so let's go to objectives. Start of turn two, as I said, I've scored 10 points on primary. I'm up to 13. And I have Storm Hostile Objective, so take an objective away from you. That's just that one, or my, your home objective, of course, but I'm not worried about that. And Assassination. Characters are where? Is he a character? He's a character. Ooh, let's see if I can take and him down. And I've got and Lieutenant in here. I'm not killing those. <laughs> and then I've got the Apothecary off board. Yeah, and so. And the Assassin's right here. Storm Hostile Objective, take right an objective away from the enemy. Assassin's right here. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Hey, Justin Storm, thank you so much. Well, there you go. Members, you now see all that cool stuff. There you go. 
Um, let's see, let's see. Is what it, can I do? Is the... Yes, I'm... Prana, I'm, prana Battleshock? No? Uh, oh, uh, it has five wounds to me. You oh, you're only, good. You only did one wound to it. Yeah. Uh, so I have no other Battleshock test to make. Two wounds. You, sure, you did two wounds to it. la di da di da You should stay in combat with <laughs> No, I'm not going to stay in combat, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill you with the, uh, the Townar. I just got to double check its range of its fusion... <laughs> its fusion eradicators. It's only 24, though. Come to So 24 is here. Come to my... I don't mind. think I can get in range. No, I think... Because his Cause movement... Because we're moving over stuff like this, you gotta clear it. You can move eight. it over. Oh, eight? Oh, yeah. So I can only get to there. If I can get to there, you know what I can do, though? I'm gonna pop this thing. Hey, hey, stay away from my land. So, right yeah, right? I'm gonna kill this guy. Hey, that's not nice, Nick. It is nice, and it's gonna be awesome! No. Get out of here. What I have to be careful, though, is that Overwatch. I have a bunch of breaches in here. I'd love to just drop them off and then kill the guys that come out, but if I put them anywhere that you could see them, you're just gonna flame them to death and they're all gonna I be gone. I totally didn't plan that out at all. <laughs> So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to advance the devilfish. Okay. Five inches. Five, six, seven, so a se 17 inches. And then I'm gonna see if I can get out and kill those guys back there. Oh, I don't think I can quite do it! No, I don't think you're, uh, you're not gonna be able to pull the line on them. I kind of made sure that uh, when I was deploying them, you'd have to like really get in to pull that line on them. You know what? I'm gonna go back there anyways. You'd like to go back here? Yeah. I'm going to threaten those t-shirt cannons. So hey, hey, get out of here. They're just doing their job, right, Nick? And uh, so I advance with them so they can't shoot. Oh, no, the, the gun drones can't shoot, but there's nothing to shoot. And they then, the crew. Yeah, the crew are gonna hop on the objective and also be in cover. So they're gonna hop on the objective, be in cover. Just hanging out, piling around. Just hanging out, piling around, having a good time. They're like, bring some tequila, you know, having a good time. The ghost keel wants to move onto the objective. I need to double check the ghost keel's movement. I want to say 10, but it might be eight. So, yeah. With it, when you have a new codex, you kind of got to double check everything because sometimes they oh, subtly move things. It's actually 10. So I should be able to, yes, I can get on. So it's always good if you're ever unsure. Just take a look. If you have the book or the app. Do you want to overwatch him? What's his, what's his, how tough is he? He's pretty tough. He should. What's his toughness? He is toughness eight with 12 wounds. If I, get, if I get lucky with the flame cannons, get I can lucky. pick him up. You get lucky. Is he two up armor or three up armor? He has uh, two up armor. Four up invul or five up invul? Uh, no invul. No invul? I have only nope. AP two. No invul. He's might as well to be hit, but that doesn't matter in Overwatch. No, it does not. Um, I think I'm <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about it. Oh, You're thinking about it. You might yeah. overwatch. Okay. Okay. Because even if I get lucky with a shot with the Melta, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I think we'll be doing that. Yeah. So she's got 18 inch Meltas? Yeah. But, uh, you know what? No. No overwatch. No overwatch? Okay. No overwatch. Then Shadow Sun is also going to move up 10. Uh, I, got, I got plans for my, uh, and she's gonna TV. be within range of her Meltas. Okay. My stealth suits will move on to the objective. Okay. Am I allowed to just charge reaction flee? <laughs> no! It's like an old school fantasy there. Yeah, so I'm, sta I'm staying out of nine so you can't do the shenanigan. I can't do it with that. Oh, only, so only infantry. Okay, units. fair enough. That'd be ridiculous. The Piranha. Because then I would have went into Tactical Doctrine just so that I could do something that ridiculous. The Piranha and the Stealth Suits are going to fall back. Okay. So the Stealth Suit is going to Can they go... fall back and shoot? No. Okay. No falling back and shooting here. Okay. Piranha is also going to fall back to here to be on the objective. So both are on the objective. And what I'm hoping is Still that... Still have more OC. How do you... What's your OC up there? Eight. Something. Eight? Something ridiculous. I've got... Yeah, I've got four on there right now. I have OC 10, sorry. OC 10. Not even close. Oh, when I finished uh, movement here, oh, that's a fallback move. I think it's regular movement because I have to either take a battle shock test. If you end a regular move? I, it, yeah, I think it's a regular move. No, well, it'll state like normal move yeah. or advanced mover. I can never find my sheets, so I gotta go pick up the codex, the ye old codex, and try to find the piranha. At the end of your movement phase, select an enemy unit within 12. If you've just moved? At the end of your movement phase. Okay. It just says, at the end of your movement phase, anything within 12. Choose, okay. choose one thing within 12. Okay. So I'm gonna try to battle shock that, because if I can battle shock that, I actually take the eject away from so you. So would you like me to roll that battle shock now, Nick? You might as well. So you're declaring the end of your movement phase? No, I'm not declaring the end of my movement phase. I'm, of course, moving up here, 
so that I can see your stupid yeah, it's all, it's all about the order of operation, right? Ah! You want to get a little little competitive practice in? Those little things can, can make differences. And I'm moving up the broadsides. They're going to lose their heavy, but at least they'll be able to shoot. How dare you, Nick? Yeah. So they'll all try to... One of them could shoot this if I wanted to. This one back here. That one? Make sure. So I have options. I've got options, Gary. <laughs> Are you allowed to touch the train since you never do? Yes, you're allowed to touch the train. See? <laughs> but I assume what you mean is like you're allowed to... Now they're going to have to sanitize it. <laughs> <laughs> that was some of the weirdest stuff during the height of COVID was like, how do we like play a game? Like we were doing, th we were literally doing things like, all right, I guess I spray this down and wipe it down and I, all the dice. How do you Those, those are strange sanitize. times. Those are strange dice. times. Yeah. <laughs> dice is easy. Uh, one cell shoot, shoot, should have fall back and shoot. One. Oh, you know what? You are correct. You are correct because the battle suit support system. Yes, eligible to shoot, a turn was fall back. So, so the, they can shoot. They one of them can, just the fusion blaster. Just the fusion blaster? Yeah. You want to do something about that? I'm thinking about it. What can you do? I don't think it's worth it. Well, so it's just one melt a shot, hitting on fours. Uh, I'll let it slide. All right. Cool. If I had if I had more CP, then I would Overwatch because it's six shots with sustain too. So even one hit gets me three hits. That's fair enough. Yeah. Right? So averages sting. <laughs> then I get one six out of rolling six <laughs> dice. That's what the internet told me. All right. Copy that. Okay. Keep, right. it keep, keep it coming. coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Nothing in reserves. I really wish I could pop this thing and then shoot all the guys inside. Because th these guys, th these top guns, will destroy the entire squad by himself. It's they're amazing guns. Okay, Nick. Find this all out. Dude. I know you have. You'll understand got, soon. The order of operations is really, really tough to do this in. So what I'm going to start with is the devilfish. Who over here can see the land raider. Okay. It's going to guide the ghost keel, shoot at everything at the land raider. Okay. So the first thing I'll do, I'll spend one command point for smoke. Okay. I'm minus one to hit, and I can't being covered. I believe the battle suit ghost skill ignores all negatives. Um, no, it's not him. Never mind. He does not ignore all negatives. So, minus one to hit, and count as being in cover. I'll then spend another command point for armor of content. <laughs> yeah, the lander, Please come back. Lander probably will survive. Okay, fine. Please well, do, sir. Fusion Collider. Hitting on threes because guiding. Hit once. You're minus one to hit. Yeah, that's why I hit a five. Oh, okay. You said hitting on threes. Does it hit on twos normally? Hits on, sorry, uh, hitting on threes, then back to fours. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I was a little concerned. So strength of the fusion collider is 12. That's, That's a wound. wound. At minus four. Minus four. Cover and armor contempt, so minus two. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, no, no, you, uh, sorry. No, I would normally ignore cover, but these don't have the mark like keyword, so I do not ignore cover. Okay. I'm good. <sighs> Stop doing this to me! Never. Never! Never! And then the twin fusion blaster, which is only one shot, but it missed. So okay. he did nothing. Then we will go with Shadow Sun. I think. So these guys are gonna guide him. Those guys are gonna guide them. Huh, it works out. Can they guide if they fell back? If they're eligible to shoot. Oh yeah, sorry, they are eligible too. Yes. 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 We so, discussed that. Also, you have oh no, they're not eligible to shoot because they advanced. They right? can be guided. Oh, in the new new codex, but they can't guide. Okay. Yes. So all the new things to learn. Yeah, there's a lot of little little subtle little things here. Oh, battle shock test. Battle shock test. Right. Thank you oh, for reminding yeah, me. We talked about that. Nathan. He's <gasps> battle shock. I got the objective. <laughs> you hold it now, but in my in my turn, if I I just go back to normal, then I take it. Yeah, but but I've got a, I've got a storm hostile objective. Oh, so yeah. I've taken the objective. How That's, dare you, Nick? Yeah, so I've stunned my you? secondary. He's cheating. This guy's clearly <laughs> cheating. I can't see his rules in his book. He's just making up whatever he wants. <laughs> We're gonna start okay. with the 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 townar. Let's do the townar. Right. I'm waiting for it. Everyone, everyone's everyone waiting, for been waiting, it. waiting for it. So the, the townar itself has been waiting for it. Yeah, the stealth suits are gonna guide the townar okay. into the land raider. I'm gonna get rolling ones to hit and rolling ones to wound, okay. and I'm gonna be hitting on threes. You were, of course, going to make it go back to fours, fours which And if sucks. you didn't get the bonus day, you'd be hitting on fives, which is so much better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I just want to double check his rules here. 
When this model is a guided unit, each time it makes an attack to hit spotted unit, reroll hit rolls one. So I'm, I actually have three sources of reroll hits to one right now <laughs> from him, from Shadow Sun, and from me. Okay. <laughs> the stealth suits. And then his other weapon. Only ones, Nick. His Only other ones. weapon is 60 inches away. Do I need it to kill the Land Raider, or do I try to just like plink some wounds over here? It does do three damage, but it is only strength uh, five. So realistically, well, I have a two up armor ignoring two AP, and then I have a, a three up, four up. I think we need to kill the Land Raider, unfortunately. I think you get to live with your Lancer for another day. Let's kill the Land Raider. You can try. I can, tr I can try. So Land Raider, I'm just gonna shoot everything, everything. into Land Raider, except for its out of line of sight weapons. I'm gonna target the t-shirt cannons. All right. What of uh, the, the Devastator Marines? Desolator. Desolator Marines Desolation in the back gone. there. All right. So starting off with the Fusion Eradicators. I have two of them. So that is 10 dice. Cover works Three, uh, four, if he has high five. AP. If it's zero AP, then it wouldn't work at all. Yeah. Hey, so hitting on fours because of all the things, but re-rolling once. Okay. That was really good. Pretty decent. I really wish this was turn three because that would be sustained at two, sustained at two, sustained at two, sustained at two. Now you do ignore, I do ignore cover now. Okay. Because I've been guided by the stealth suits who have it on marker light. Yeah, that's fine. It's because the, the smoke is really good because it gives cover and minus one to hit. So really good. I wish it's, I, yeah. Well, any, as long as you have the smoke keyword and the, on the this unit. This is the only thing in the entire army that has smoke keyword. Yeah. My scouts have uh, So your toughness what there? Well. That's not a 12? That sucks. I'm only strength 10 with this. So when he unfies, but rerolling once. Two and one reroll. That's three. three. Okay. Three. That's four. I missed the five. Okay. That's no four problem. at minus four. Minus four? Yeah. So <clears throat> you ignore cover. So yep. armor attempt. So it's only minus three. Okay. So you're getting two, three, four, fives. Five. So four fives. Four fives. I one of one. them. It does D6 damage a piece. Woo! So let's kill it! Kill it! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage to start with. Okay. I'm down. Six. Down to six wounds remaining. Down to six wounds remaining. And then the Pulse Ordnance Driver. Let's see if we can, can't kill that with that. Eight dice per piece, and I've got three of them. So that okay. is eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Well, here's thirty, and then I minus um, six. Minus six. One, two, three, four, five. Nick is good at math. Nope, terrible math. My, <laughs> my grade 12 math score was abysmal. <laughs> uh, so hitting on fours again. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones, there was two ones in there to reroll. And I got one of them. Twos and threes go away. Again, I wish I had sustained hits. Well, next turn. But well, if you had lethals, how many sixes that's are That's true, that's true. You know what? I think, honestly, I think the lethals is really, really good. The stratagems are Especially because well. like, if you're winning on fives or whatever else, yeah. you're, you're, you're trying to proc I was very, I was very tempted to do it. So a strength uh, five though, so I'm wounding on sixes. Rerolling ones to wound. One reroll, that's that's three wounds. Three. I'll take it, and minus one. Okay, so one. minus zero. It does three damage. Woo. And what, how many other guns does he have? Uh, he has a burst cannon. Look at it's like a worse heavy bolter. I will CP reroll this. All right. That's the last high damage attack. I still have melters from here and here. Ah! <laughs> I roll the one into the one <laughs> every time. <laughs> but I was saving the CP for it. But it's okay. All right, keep it coming. Okay, so you're down to how many wounds are? Three. Three. Because that did three me. damage to me, correct? Yeah, that did three damage. All right, not bad. That, this weapon is an anti-infantry two. If you give me it, like if I could have popped this thing with other stuff, but I don't think I could have. That's the problem. So the the whole reason also I kind of put them here is so that when it dies, oh, you're just gonna just pop them out right there where they 100%. can't be seen. That's why I didn't get these guys out. Same, same similar reason. Well, if they jumped out, I would just fight. Exactly. So moving on, the the, the stealth suits are gonna fire into you. I yep. just got the, the one melt. I'm not gonna bother rolling the burst cannons at this point. Uh, yes. Oh, minus one to hit. Shadow Sun. Yes. Smoke. Shadow Sun Smoke. will target you. And it's a hit. And, oh, it's not a wound. Oh, sorry, she has two shots. I don't know what I'm doing. The other one fails to hit because of the smoke. smoke. I didn't guide her because could have guided her, but I did the order of operations wrong because you have to do it before you shoot. So for instance, yeah. I could have guided with the ghost key. No, I couldn't because I got it there. Yeah. No, there was no way ability yeah. to go. No. So I fail those. 
Missile shots? John, John Cena pops the hash and he's just doing the hand. Hits one with the missile. Doesn't wound with the missile. So, wow. I just whiffed with a bunch of shots there. Well, on that note, then, let's, let's fire the burst cannons. Because I said I was going to do it, but... So what Nick has done here is he's cheated. shot with one yes, model here and then I've moved totally to another cheated. unit. I've and totally back. cheated. I did no wounds. <laughs> Backpedaling. Okay, Nick. Well, as we said before, I have one broadside that can do it from over here. Okay. So the broadside from over here is going to fire into... Does, like, does Enrique Iglesias, like, I can be your hero baby, start playing in the background <laughs> for this guy? I can be your hero baby. And then he's going to miss. It's going to be great. Oh, uh, sorry. I do need to backdrop a little bit. Yep. I had declared it, but I hadn't rolled it. It was the outer line of sight weapons. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, finish that up. The desolators back there. So it's not a lot of shots. Declaring your, your shooting in intense is always important. So smart missile system. Three, oh, sorry. Three dice. Uh, two hits. Okay. And two one wound. wound. One wound? All right. Uh, no, wait. It's strength five. So That's three a wound. wound. So two wounds. That one. All right, one damage? Uh, just one damage, yeah. Three damage? Nope. Hey, yeah, uh, 20 damage. So then we're going to go with this broadside. Unfortunately, there's no one to guide them. I could have guided them with Shadow Sun. I should have, but it's too late now. See, what you did, you walked in, you're like, I'm going to pick up that I'm land gonna raider. I'm going to pick this up. It's going to be awesome. And then I didn't really think this through. And then the smoke. Actually, I'm going to wait. No, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to keep going. Broadside. So one broadside can see that Land Raider. Yes. The other broadside cannot, so it's going to shoot its last shot right no here. They both have those out of of sight shots, so yep. they're going to fire into those uh, Desolators in the back. Okay. I'll do the Desolators first. So you remember it? Yeah, so I remember it, because otherwise I'm going to forget. Uh, hitting at minus one because of out of line of sight, so I only hit twice. Yep. And wounded once. Uh, three up armor? Three up armor. Three. Strength five. Wounding twice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh. killed one. Woohoo! Then the two big rail guns plus all the missile drones, because that's the only target they got. Sorry, the one rail gun. One it's rail like gun forty there. points in my army. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. They're Never. excessive. Yeah. Let's do the hero. Okay. The, the hero, hero with his rail gun into here. Okay. <sighs> Minus one to hit. <sighs> yeah, I know. So he's hitting on fives. I know. He's hitting on fives. He gets two shots. Stay on fives. All right. I know. I know. Ah! First one fails. Second one, ah. it hits. No, All right. bad, bad railgun. Ooh, good job, railgun. I needed that. Good job, railgun. And What's the strength, though? I think it's strength 12. Ooh, 50-50? Um, strength 12. 50-50. So I need a four-up roll. I still have a command point. Hold on to that. No, I'm going to use a different dice. <laughs> I can do anything. And wound, and it's devastating. Is it? It becomes a devastating D6 plus one wound. Ooh. So ooh. you have three wounds remaining. Yeah. I just need Dang a two. It. That's a three, which becomes four devastating wounds. Does he get devastating if he moves? Uh, yeah, it's just devastating. Just devastating? Yeah. Boop. They get heavy if they stay still. Because awesome. you got to reroll explosions anyways. It blows. It blows up! It doesn't do anything, but it's cool! No. <laughs> Explo Wait, do I have an explosion? I do! You ready for it, Owen? Explosion! No. Oh, that was really disappointing. Aw, the button doesn't work. Uh, Next yeah, time. Do yeah, okay, do a graphic. All right, it's still cool. All right, so Nick, how much OC do you have on here? Uh, currently, I have, I believe, two, three, four, five. I'll double check the, the OC? ghost keel. Yeah. Ghost keel is OC three, so three, four, five, six on it. Six? Yeah, I don't think I can out OC you. But because everything here is shot already, <laughs> now my boys are safe. We have had a minor celebrity, Jay Aiken, on our channel. Uh, we had Rahul Kaholi, uh, who has played a number of leading roles in a number of movies and TV shows and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, he's also the voice from um, Bolt Gun, the, the retro shooter 40K game. He does the voices of voice work on there. So he's a really cool guy. We had him in for like a first step series and a lot of fun. Nick needs more buttons. Yes, I need more buttons. Oh, I've got a I've got a Mount Kalabunga button, which is not 100% appropriate for the Cayenne stratagem or ability, but I'm gonna play it anyways. I would love to get Henry Cavill. I think everybody would like to get Henry Cavill. I think that he'd be the the golden goose egg thing of 40k channels. So the reason I'm actually bunching everything up is because I have to do so I'm a unit of seven. Yeah. I can't get that two-inch coherency for the two and uh, one, so everyone. Oh man, over. if I had blown you up first, I could have just wiped ya. Well, I would have dumped everything. Yeah, of over course here. you would have. Of course you would have. Well, yeah. 
I have a little pocket for him. All right, Land Raider down. So even, even the cat a really, get a thunder hammer. He just wanted a to really scary unit there. is still there. And then we've got the other railgun into the Lancer. So two shots, hitting on fours. Hits once. Okay. Give me that. Give me that devastating wounds again. It's a four. Uh, Straight wounds. twelve. That's a wound. That's a wound. Dep minus four. I take it. D six plus one damage. Three damage. And then the missile drones that are all attached to there. Each one has two missile drones, so a bunch of missiles. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry, I took four damage? Uh, that was a total of three damage. Three damage? Missile drones hit a bunch of times, and they wounded you none. Down to 22. And then the last shooting we have, I think, is the fusion blaster from the stealth suit. Oh, that's why I was waiting. The stealth suit was gonna guide these guys. Oh, whatever. Uh, no, it's good that I didn't because I wanted to split fire here. That's why I yeah. didn't do it. And splitting fire means that your other target is minus one to hit. You didn't hit the button, next, so. I didn't hit the button, exactly. <laughs> the Delta gun from the stealth suit into the big lancer. Uh, it misses. <laughs> All that. All that for nothing. You know what? I've, for a drop of blood. I have a couple drone yeah. shots because they have yeah. assault weapons yeah. into these guys. Might as well. Uh, hit you twice. And wounded you once, but twin linked. Wounded you twice. No, AP. Take you take wounds. one? I take two. Wounds. You take two! <laughs> Gun drones. Will we be doing any more narrative campaigns like Angels and Demons or the Actarius War? 100% we, we will be doing more. We've got some great plans for the rest of the year, but you got to wait till later in the year for them. Okay, um, I believe that's the end of my turn. So is it officially the end of your turn? <sighs> what can you do sneaky-wise? Gorilla tactics for my scouts, and then the... Alan's assassin are gonna leave. Okay, I'm okay with that. Boop, boop. Is that a command point for that? Nope. They just they're built-in right. abilities for both of them. So, what so you they can come in on strategic reserves, yeah. she can deep strike it. So what do you have for command points now? Here, I use them all. Use them all. Got it. Because I failed the CP reroll there, which would have right. potentially saved me. And so I still have one. So zero for Gary, one for me. And then at, at, the, at end, the end of the round. Yeah, and at the end of the round at the end of the round. At the end of the round, I have done Storm Hostile objective because you're battle shocked. Go Piranha, that actually worked out. I've rarely seen that work. Prana came in, did his drone swarm ability. Did a thing. Great. Did some stuff in junk. I still have assassination. I have an assassination target here, and I have two right here. The question is, do you need more CP? I do. I think, to be honest, that guy's going to be really tough to kill, and you're not going to come close enough for me to get you. So I'm going to ditch assassination. And uh, yeah, I'm going to ditch assassination, because I, I want the CP. Okay. I'm up to two command points. Okay. And so that gives me five points for Stormhouse objective. Nick is currently winning. And I'm currently winning! All right. The end, of the, end of the round. End so of the round. Start of the next round. Start of the bottom of the turn. I go up to one. I you go, up, go to, up to three. I go up to three command points. Yes, indeed. And right. then how many points do you score? All right. So for that, uh, no battle shots to take. No battle shots to take. Nope. And then, uh, so now I think I'm going to go into... Gonna check a couple of things here. Oh, yeah. And your battle shock leaves on the lancer, so it has. Yeah, totally. Leave. I'm going to go into the devastator. 20, 22 doctrine. wounds left on it. The devastator doctrine. In this turn. Hmm. Come on, Black Templars, teach Nick a lesson. I think they're about to. <laughs> All the lessons. Okay, so that's done. So. My OC 10 takes over here, so I hold one, I hold two. <laughs> so for 10 points in primary. So now we're now you're a bit closer. And what's your secondaries? Uh secondaries, I guess. Storm hostile objective. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to storm. Yep, cleanse. To storm. cleanse is not that good for me, but is what it is. Ah, just you can just cleanse this objective. Just cleanse right here with the Lancer. It means you can't do anything with them, but it'd be great. No. <laughs> Bad dick. Bad. Oh, or cleanse with these guys. Just come in here, cleanse it. Don't don't charge me or fight me. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um Breachers in there are a little bit of an issue, but I think that I need to kill all of this. Yeah, you need to take the jungle. And you kill it? You think you can get this? Get some sneaky You're about, you're about to find Get it. some don't sneaky worry. strategies. Don't worry about it. You know what I haven't been thinking about is your deep strikes. I know you my, have deep strikes. My eradicators. I've given you a nice spot here. I've given you a nice spot here. Don't worry. I don't have, they don't do, they just, they walk onto the board. They're like, hey man. Well, I guess it's still turn two. No, it's turn 
two? Bottom and two. Yeah, bottom two. I can't come into your deployment zone. Yeah, so you can't, so you gotta come here. Uh, I which, because it, I'm in the terrain, you can still shoot me. Yep. Yep. Nope. Don't worry, Nick, I got plans. You got good plans. Okay, so let's do, let's go to movement phase. Uh, there's no uh, reactive moves here that you can do? No, aside from like Overwatch. Okay. I wish I could Overwatch for the town art, that'd be great. Oh, sorry. I do have to do my Oath Moment target. What do you want to Oath? Which is going to be... Blocker Mon, one, two, three. We are looking heavily into... Um, uh, we are looking heavily into doing the uh, doing the new Aegis of War. Like, it looks promising, so um, possibly. Yeah. Uh, right Nick, now. what will your new Custodes army so, face? I face some orcs so far. I face some uh, Necrons. I'm hoping to play some more. That was a lot of fun. The Oath of Moment. Uh, Storm Hostile says control at the end of the turn, not the start of the turn. Somebody's asking. Start of turn. I don't know why it would be start of turn. Yeah, so at the, st at the start of your turn, I control this. Yeah. But Storm Hostile, I achieved on my turn. Yeah. yeah. So you're good at the end. Yeah. It's because you battle shocked me during your turn, it turned my OC to zero. So it's a really interesting kind of like mechanic. That's why that type of thing is really good, right? Yeah. So these guys are going to re embark into their ride. What are those? Those are the Devastators. Devastators. Got it. And then they're going to. Just go up all this way. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, Grisman, I technically held this objective at the beginning of the command phase, but then the battle shot goes away, and then he controls at the you end. You score of the objectives phase. at the end at the yeah. end of the command phase, which is why he still scores the, the primary points. So we'll leave these guys. Is there any play on content where Nick plays orcs? I don't know if I've played orcs or one. Have you ever seen me play orcs? They're hanging out there. I don't think I've ever played orcs. Uh, Dust Jedi, Chaz Gonzalez, uh, we are going to release, we, we have filmed 18 episodes of King of the Coliseum, we've only released six so far, we are currently editing three at a time, four at a time right now, and the intent is very soon to be able to start releasing them one a week, so there's more King of the Coliseum exclusive content coming up very soon, very soon, uh, okay. you should probably expect that within a couple weeks. Anyway, Albert and the boys. Should I just pick those guys up now? <laughs> those guys are very, very tough. However, if I get an opportunity, I think this thing, if you don't kill it, can melt that entire squad. Why are we even talking about yeah. <laughs> We already know that that's going to happen. Um, Flama77, thank you very much. I appreciate the gifted memberships. Uh, folks, go check out moved, the new stuff. Moved. Uh, the Lancer's hanging out where he is right now. Oh, I see what you mean. Storm hostile objective at the end of the turn. Yeah, you already have storm hostile objective because I've, that's what he was talking about. I held it at the beginning of the turn. I can't storm this one. Why not? Because you didn't hold it at the start of my turn. I did hold it at the start oh. of your turn. Oh. So that's that's what the the chat was talking about. Technically, I held this at the start of the turn. Then you lost your battle shock, and then at the end of the command phase, you took command to control of the objective, which means that you have achieved storm hostile objective already. It's hilarious. That is hilarious. It's a weird interaction, but it worked out. Yeah. Okay. Not that you were going to have any trouble over here. Okay, so the Lancer's going to move over to here. Uh, I move 14 inches. Is this Codex Tau? What change with the Town R? If so, it is Codex Tau, but the Town R had not changed a bit. Nothing changed. That's a vehicle. Are you sure you can go through it? Yeah, I can, I can move over. Move over other. Actually, hold on. Maybe... I don't use these things enough. Super so. heavy walkers can move over models. Oh, except for Titanic models. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I except can, for Titanic. I knew. I knew I could do it. All right. Yeah. Not crazy. Uh, what's the OC on this guy? Three. That is OC the uh, two. OC two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, moved. 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 Right, they haven't moved yet. So these yeah, guys. Is the razor back on there right now? Yeah. Yes. So I did move it up. Probably OC it. three. I'm guessing. So OC two. OC two. So currently I have it, but you could probably kill these guys. Shouldn't have trouble. Six and a half, one half dozen of another. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, I got I got a couple plans. I got some guys to show up. So I've done all of the moving. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna bring the assassin in. Ooh, where does he want to go? She. Where does she, she. want to go? 
friend. And I'm still nine away from him. That works perfectly. Actually, do I want to do that first? No, sorry. Before she goes in, these mm -hmm. guys are going to... No, I want to shoot there. Hmm. Hmm. What's their armor save? Like six? Uh, yeah, it's six up. If stealth. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move these guys up. They're gonna move over there. Except for the sergeant. Hang up back here. And then in my reinforcement steps, cattle assassin will deep strike. Got it. Basically, I'm hoping that I survive this round. If I can survive with enough assets in this round, in turn three, my sustained hits pops off and it will be a glorious turn. But I'm having, having trouble believing that I will survive this round. <laughs> <laughs> so, because you're in the terrain, I can clearly see that all these windows are open, correct? Uh, sure. Yes or no? If they're not, yeah. then I can come up this side. I mean, we never declared it. There's some tournaments are playing with all yeah. first floor windows are, are yeah. closed, but yeah, we'll just. So I think what I oh, want to do. Be here. I can go up to there. That's fine. Yeah. So these are eradicators, correct? Yes. Yeah. And my gun's poking out over here, so you're good to go. It's a big giant target. You're not going to miss. <laughs> are there any plans to bring back kill team content? One of the struggles with Kill Team on our channel is we don't really have a champion. I gotta make sure I'm outside of um, deployment. Like, Steve was the champion for Kill Team, but to be honest, there he didn't get really inspired by the new version of Kill Team, and so we didn't really get into it. Not that it's a bad system or like that, but we don't really have someone that really, like, I want to play Kill Team! So all of our Kill Team efforts have been not as not as good as we wanted them to be. So until we have that champion, we probably won't have a lot of Kill Team channel uh, all right, Nick. stuff on our channel. You're pending doom. I mean, we can just skip this phase. I'm, I'm good to skip it. So we're gonna it. go with the assassin shooting her flame pistol into the stealth boy. Stealth, minus one hit. I have three shots. Okay. I'm torrent. No, we don't care about it. You have a torrent uh, pistol? I think so, hold on. <laughs> Double check. Double check. <laughs> and it's 12 inches, so I made sure I wasn't range. Yeah. I should be. You're good. Precision You're torrent, good to yeah. Go. That's and, beautiful. And anti-infantry two up, AP two. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, they're infantry. <laughs> two AP two. One right. damage you beast. Three, four, fives. Hey, got one. One damage. One damage? Alright. The one stealth suit is down to one wound remaining. Okay. Uh let's go heavy bolter and storm bolter into them from the razorback. Razorback here? Yeah. Into stealth suits. Got yeah. it. So heavy bolter. Uh you're minus one to hit, correct? Uh minus one hit. So one hit and one wound AP one. Ooh. Got it. Got it. Storm Bolter. Last one hits. Storm Bolter. Two. Oh, both go through! Is it multiple damage? One damage. Alright, so the, the one stealth suit is left with one wound. The commander with the melt the gun. Okay. Uh, so let's go to our next set of shooting. Hey, Carl! How you doing? Good to see ya. Welcome here. Um... Desolation Marines are going to shoot all their castle launchers here and then the big shots here. Okay. And the yeah, Vanguard, yeah. Vanguard launcher. There. You've moved into the into Yeah, the so the three can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, let's do those ones first. So. You're hoping the snipers then kill the breachers coming out. Is that the kind of plan there? No. Oh. Okay. I just want to kill your tank. Okay. Fair enough. The uh, big shots, uh, <laughs> only one hit. Strength 10. That's a wound, AP2. Okay. Uh, did I cover from it? I think I do. Yes. Can I, can I save it? All right. Uh, am I no line of sight shooting into that castle launcher? So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus, that's a full unit still. Of so, where are you shooting at? The crew. Yeah, crew unit of ten. Uh, remember, they have stealth, so minus one hit. So. Oh, is the popping back? Oh no. Well, maybe somebody, maybe something else. Ten jabs from the gun. Eight more shots from blast. <laughs> but you are oh, so I'm hitting on force. For the stealth and all the other things. So. Oh, that stealth actually helped quite a bit there. 
Oh, the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Still, helped. Still helped a little. How, oh, uh, yeah, Black Templar should have 10 points on Prime Primer. Uh, toughness three, so winning on threes. And there you go. That is seven wounds. Seven wounds. Seven wounds. Five, no, zero, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so and you're going to get some cover. I specifically put a bunch of them in cover to try to get a bunch on cover. Uh, so I'll have fives. Sorry, was AP two? Zero. Zero, AP zero. So fives and sixes. Hey, look at that! Look at that! He only killed three! Okay, the Vengor launcher. Eight shots. One, two, three. Uh, normally hits on twos, so now it'll be hitting on threes. But your oath. Oath of my And then your T3, I can assume. Uh, sorry, T3. T3. Yeah, T3. Sorry, I got a couple comes to the All the ones. Oh, there we go. So four AP one. Okay. So six ups. Six is because of cover. Nothing. I got close. Kill four more. Four more. I'll take it. I still got the objective, though. That's mine. Unless you want to charge me with a big giant. Two, three, four. I got three guys left on it. That's fine. Uh, I'll do one crack missile into your... from my scouts. Yeah. <laughs> um... Let's go with the Lancer. <laughs> the Lancer doesn't like them, so he's gonna shoot them. Oh, La Lancer's gonna take this big giant laser. It's not, it doesn't really do much. It's just strength six AP zero two damage. How, it, that's a lot six of dice shots. though. Yeah, you'll probably kill him. Sustained. And minus one to hit, of course. So that goes and then sustained comes back in. Six hits. Sustained two? Yeah. Oh, you have two sixes, got it. Sorry, I thought you meant it was I sustained two. No. I'm pretty sure I knocked one of those. I only had one six. I have no idea. I didn't see. It's fine. What do you answer? Pretty good still. Five AP zero, two damage each. All right, so I need at least five. I got three guys. I need three fives on on five dice. Here we go. Because then they live and they stick to the objective. I did it! You only killed two. I've got one guy left on the objective. <laughs> Fine. Go, crew, go! Fine. And that's our long charge. You can try it if you want. No. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um. So now we're going to go <laughs> all of their shooting into the uh, stealth suits. Okay. Actually, yeah, no, all the shooting in stealth suits. And of course, minus one hit. Yeah. So, Hellbrick. Two hits because he hits on twos. Yeah. Dev wounds on no. fours because combi. Just one. Two dev wounds and one AP1. Okay. Don't and save two either. Two dead guys. So Damage dead shoes. Guys. Ah, bleh, I'll do I've got one the stealth second, The second combi doesn't hit. The lieutenant's uh, Volkite pistol. One hit, six. No, but it's still a wound, AP zero, two damage. Okay. Ooh, I saved it. Fine. Two flamer pistols. Eight. <laughs> Burn him. Burn the heretic. Seven. Seven wounds from flamers. Ouch. Threes. Uh, he's dead. dead. Just enough. All Just right. enough. Love it. All the death. All right. Spending one command point for Storm of Fire. Stool. That means shoot again? Or the Eradicator is shooting into the broadside, or into the what does that mean? Uh, So, no. So what it's going to give me is it's going to give me ignore cover and plus one AP because I'm in Devastator Dock. Ooh, right that means AP four? AP five. Ooh, that's... Oh, you're going to kill this thing. You have a really good chance of killing this thing. I only have eight shots. <laughs> but I have lethal hits from the Apothecary. Plus he has the Fire Discipline, which gives me sustained yeah. hits. And then on top of that, because I'm in Devastator Doctrine, I now critical on five ups. Oh. I'm really surprised you didn't give Oath a moment here. I don't need it, because they have full rerolls. I get two <laughs> monsters and vehicles. This Fair is why enough. that unit is real angry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the multi melts first. They hit on fours. Okay. Oh. But I Good thing for rerolls. Okay, so just failed one. So there's three hits, plus one lethal. Okay. And then I'll do the, the regular ones. Uh... Four hits plus another lethal. Hoping for more, but... Oh, because you're critical hits on fives. I critical on fives. Yeah. So, we'll leave it at that. So I have two lethals. I could fish for more, but it's a gamble. So I wouldn't you on fives. The strength, nine. But I have four rerolls, because I'm eradicated. And I reroll damage as well. There it is. So I have five total. I thought you only had nine shots. Or, sorry, eight shots. I did. You have... But okay. I have lethal and sustained. Oh, you didn't say sustained. Sorry. That's I thought, what, yeah, that's I, thought what I was confused. Yeah. Okay, so because I saw the, the lethal come out and then you added dice, I was like, what's going on? 
Okay, so five sustained, five so AP five, ignoring cover. What? <laughs> so five five wounds to take. So, does it have an invul? It does. So you're on your yeah yeah. I got a two up save, but it doesn't matter. Negate it. Mine's five. Yeah. And negate, uh, I negated some of that. Can I have smoke? <laughs> no. <laughs> can I get anything else? No, there's nothing else he's got. Um, and you were rolling at at uh, T13, right? Yeah, I was doing a fives. Okay. Straight nine. Okay. But the lethal auto hit, auto wound, right? So there's two auto wounds and then yeah. a fish. So, okay, so walk me five through again. Wounds. I have how many wounds to save? Five. Just five total. Five wounds to save on my five up and these are how much damage each? D6 re-rolling. Oh! Just I only have 30 wounds. Like, that's enough to kill him. Potentially. I got one. Oh, no! No, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't. I can't kill him with this, but I can do some damage. Uh, see, I can because I have 30 wounds. You can do a maximum of six, 12, 24. 24. So you can't kill him. Uh yeah. Not, I'm not gonna fish for a five. So see, see what we get. Could be four sixes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I get to reroll damage or fifteen. Okay. Uh, oh, it's worse. Four. That was, that was four there. Four. Fifteen. Nine. 15 wounds. So I'm exactly at half. So I'm not bracketed. So the pistol from the apothecary <laughs> hits. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fish the or I'm gonna fish. Oh, I got the lethal. Oh, I got the lethal hit. AP one. Uh, AP two. Two damage. AP two. No. Okay, that's worth a command reroll. Going down to two because now I'm saving on a four. Yeah. No, I've got a two up. Three, four. Yeah, on a four. Oh my goodness. Because I ignore cover. <laughs> nope. Out of the dice box. No! Yes. Now you're bracketed. So I'm down one wound. Uh, down two wounds. Down two wounds. So I'm down to It's like strength five, AP wounds. one, two damage. Wow. So he benefits from the unit's ability because it says when the unit fires. You didn't kill it. No. But you maimed it. Well, 13 wounds remaining. Rough. Yeah, and I don't have the ability. Yeah, a lot of if the it big... Was, if it was a Dakari player, that was probably JT. Yeah. A lot, a lot of the um, big battles have the ability to ignore yeah. modifiers, but this one does not. Yeah. So, it rerolls ones. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so let's go. So the shooting's done. Shot here. Shot here. Shot here. Shot there. Shot there. All right. Charge face. Let's start with the Caleb's Assassin into the Piranha. The Piranha. Nine inches away. Nope. On the dice box. Doesn't count. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> You're used to playing six, seven, Three eight. Three rerolls. Not Three enough. Three Almost. Uh, the Razorback will charge into the, um, Probably like three or four. Oh, we gotta clear it. I gotta clear it, right? So I need, I need a little bit of room. Five, maybe. Let's see. It's pretty close. You might do it. Uh, Nick runs bananas? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're, you're, in. you're in. No, uh, I won't. No? Okay. Oh, oh, right. So then I, I still charges. have the objective then. Maybe. Oh, um, are, you, are you gonna charge backwards? No. Okay. Don't think I can do. Uh, about that. Uh, he's going into the bronze ice. Yes, I figured that one. I wish there was something I could do about that. Nope, not Damn it. in the dice box only. Nine. There's oh, the yeah. nine. You're I need. in. You are in. So what I'm going to do. Out of it so you can get in there either. Okay. Go like oh, to get onto the objective if you kill both of them? Yeah. Actually. Yeah, so you're just going to take my home jerk. Yeah. 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 Guarantee it. Yeah. Don't mess around. Uh, tank shock happens now. So I'll use zero right. CP. Tank shock. Tank shock! Tank shock! I only barely got it last time. Oh, right. The town art bracket's at well, much less with 10 wounds, so I'm not bracketed. The town art is not bracketed. So I'm used to half being... Yeah, never mind. I was, I was thinking about ninth edition where so, so Nick's cheating. All right. I haven't rolled anything. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wreck him, Gary. No, don't wreck him. Exactly. Oh no, sorry. I got seven, but six mortal wounds to the the broadsides. I want to be wrecked. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, broadsides. Sorry, seven, six wounds. So I've got two six mortals. Two wounds remaining Ooh. on uh, this front broadside here, and I have two up armor and no invul. They have a two-up armor and no invul. Yep. Okay. T6. Uh, Helbrick and the boys. Just Yeah, just get in. They're, they're going to charge the... Uh, ghost kill. Ghost kill. Ghost kill. Ghost kill. So the reason I'm not taking the gamble, I don't have CP. I can guarantee this charge. 
but I may have some jank. Not 11. Whew. What jank are you thinking? You're about to find out. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I have to get as many as I can into base to base combat. Yep. That is a... Oh, Gary. Gary. Does that win one? Oh, wait, you are correct. This never happens, but the broadsides have a four plus feel no pain against mortals. Do they? I never get to use it because it so rarely happens. I'm taking it. So you do your charge move. I'm taking my, thank you very much, audience. I appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, four up against mortals. I hope I save them all. I failed two of them. So it's only taken two wounds, not six. Okay. I so I, I have plans. six wounds. Not two. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we almost never get to use that rule. Okay, so I've completed my charge move. How many wounds does... Oh, this guy's got a lot of wounds. Uh, he's got a fair number. Yeah, he's, he's got... One. He's T8. Range of anything, so they're just going to hang out there. So uh, now, T8, 12 wounds. Now we're going to go with... Uh, so at the start of the fight phase... Sword Brethren are going to increase their damage by one of the entire unit. Sounds good. And then Halberk's ability goes off, allowing me to do potentially mortal wounds to you. So I do three mortal wounds. Okay. One nothing, two to three, D3, four to five, three, six, D3 plus three. All right. Okay, so he's down to nine. That ghost kill is down to nine wounds remaining. And then how many... Sorry, what's his toughness again? His toughness eight. Toughness eight. I'll do Halberg's big swings, and then everyone else will swing as well. So these are going to be a strength 9, AP 3, flat 4 damage. <laughs> and I critical on 5s, because that's his ability that he gives out, and I have a lieutenant, so I lethals on 5s. Uh, lethal. Now, I have twice for battle. I can change the di damage characteristic of attack to 0. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't know this unit enough to know when to use this. These are 4 damage. This is, these, are the, these are my highest AP, highest damage okay. attacks I'm putting into you right now. I'll probably, I'll probably cancel two of these. Okay, so I failed two. So I have three AP three, okay, damage, so damage just, for each. So I'm just going to cancel two of them. It just happens. It just, I have two, two once per battle abilities. They're yeah. drones that kind of yeah, take yeah. the damage for them. And now those are gone. So before rolling any saves? It says twice per battle after attack has been allocated to the model. You can change the damage, damage characteristic to zero. I don't know if that's before the save or after the save, to be honest. It just says as when the attack is allocated. Um, and then I've got one more save to make. Uh, two, three, four, minus two or minus three? Is it minus two or minus three? Twice per battle, so, uh, they're minus three, but... Okay, so that goes through then. Taking four damage. So my, so my attack characteristic goes to just zero. So the, for him. The, the damage characteristic goes to zero for two attacks, yeah. The damage characteristic goes to zero. So, in theory, now these are one damage. They, they inflict one damage each, because it's... It zeroes, I believe it, the characteristic goes to zero, but because of the Sword Brethren unit, they give plus one to the damage character. That's weird. Yeah, and it's an addition afterwards. All right. Sure. I think, I'm pretty sure that's how I'm gonna the, trust the, you on the that. iteration of how that one goes. I'm going to trust you on that one, because uh, I don't know how that it's works. It's like the reduced damage, half damage. Sure. Stuff. Okay, so these become zero, and then plus one, plus one, and then this. No, so his, so his attack, I believe it's just like his attacks, because his attack is. No, no, no. It, you, it's, it's individual. Atta- yeah, so a dice, a dice is brought down okay. to zero. Okay, that's a confusing thing. Okay, so those then become ones, that becomes still four. So four, five, six damage. So I have three wounds you failed. You failed all the saves? Uh, do I get to roll the saves? Yeah. Okay, I'll roll yeah, the so saves. AP three. Okay, I save, I save one of them then. Okay, so that's one damage, and then you get... Uh, uh, then I take both of them off to, to zero, and then so I do one damage each. Uh, so nine, eight, seven. Very, Clear that? Very confusing. Yeah, okay. So how many saves did you roll? I, I rolled three dice, I saved one of them. Okay, save one? Yeah. That, and then you and then zero, out drones, the, you zero out those zero two, you those. take nothing. Because you, you rolled your your save. I thought I still took plus one. I, I'm so confused by this. So, you made your armor save. If you make your armor save, you take no damage. I'm pretty sure I don't get to roll the save. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the wound is allocated, but not the damage. Yeah. A set, multiple, divide, subtract, add. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. It's, it gets ridiculous. This is, this is one of the complicated moments. Yeah, so see, of... the Sword Brother, the damage adds afterwards. Yeah. That's why they're really good into yeah. Satan. So, so, so then, if we're in that theory, so those become one damage each. Sure. Just tell me how much rolling. damage I've taken. And then you get an armor save for that one. Which I've made. So then you just take two damage. Okay. 
so confusing. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven. Because it's, it's such a weird new rule. All right. Oh, yeah. Now okay, I'm gonna pump. Okay, so I assume we did that correctly. If we didn't, this is just a friendly yeah. game. We're just here for fun. Yeah. Um, it, to be honest, you've got way more attacks still coming in. I still have 25 exactly. attacks. Exactly. So this probably won't make a difference. I but it's like. good. It's good to like know how it works now. Yeah. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the castle and sergeant, and then the lieutenant because their profiles are the exact same, uh, with Halberg's ability giving plus one strength to the unit. Their strength six, AP two, three damage each. Go. So wounding on fives. So hitting on twos. I crit on fives. Okay, very For nice. Lethals. Uh, what would you have? Lethals sustained? No, lethals. Lethals, got it. And then some strength six. So I have five AP2, damage three each. Five AP2. So my two goes to a four. And I save two of them. Three go through. It's nine damage. Nine damage. Killing him. Does he explode? He doesn't, but the reroll doesn't give an explosion. The ghost keel is dead. Ah! All right. And then I'll pile in to Lady Fancy Pants here. All right, Shadow Sun is taking some damage, I see. Hmm, very interesting. All right, so the big, this is the big one. Can you kill both of these broadsides with this Lancer? And they have eight wounds each, correct? They have eight wounds each. Well, one of them is six wounds and one of them is eight. So he's gonna do his big attacks, which are eight damage each. Nice! Oh, is he really? Yeah. How many days do you get then? Six, hitting on twos. Oh, it's so good! So it's gonna be twos and twos. Oh, that's really, really at good. AP, at AP three, though. The twos and twos. Ooh, unless okay. he's sustained or anything. Okay. This could, this could matter, this could matter. Okay. I gotta check now. All right. <laughs> Oh no, he just has Lance on that, so he's plus one to wound. He's really wounding you on twos. Yeah. Because it's strength 20. <laughs> <laughs> twos again. All right, that's four AP3. Okay, I can do this. Each fail is a dead guy. Three, four, five. So four five ups. I need to make three of them. Yes. Okay, for drama's sake, I can roll one at a time. Here we go. First one. He's dead. It kills, kills the one broadside. Now I need to make every single one needs to be five now. Yeah. Five fails. They're both dead. You killed the broadsides. Blah. <laughs> they, they didn't even try. They're like, I'm, I'm giving up here. Let's move towards the objective. Boop. And that's all she wrote. So we're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a night fight now. Well, it's gonna yeah. be fun. I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> would, you like, would he like to shoot there or shoot the eradicator? I'm gonna shoot both. You can. What about them? Oh no, I'm gonna kill them with the, the guns on top and it's, the guns on the side are gonna kill that. Ah. I mean, probably not, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna get five points for Storm Hostile Objective because I've- You took two. I took three. two. You took three for me. I took only two. I don't take that one. Oh, right, fair enough. Yes. So I've taken two, so for the five. And then cleanse, I'm gonna get rid, get rid of it for CP. Got it. So you're up to how many command points? I'm now back up to one. Great, I'm still at two. So then we go into turn number three. I go up to three command points. I go up to two. And uh, any battle shocks to make, I do technically have to make a battle shock with the, st the, the townar, but I'm gonna start with, I do use insane bravery on the one crute. So here's here's the here's the crazy thing that happens. Because you control us at the starting command phase, yeah. it gets stickied. Yes. So I'm gonna sticky the center so one. So you don't even need to do insane bravery because you already control it. So even if he battle shocks, you still control it. Because oh. battle shock happens at the bottom of the command phase. Oh, that's phase. very interesting. So you've stickied it. It now belongs to you. That's very interesting. Ooh. Well, then you know what? I'm going to then. I think I then I'll spend this insane bravery on the stealth suit then, because, because that will give you that. Because one. that will make sure I I hold this one. Yes. Because yeah. then you're taking the gamble of yeah. not of contesting. No, he yeah. Well, because I already it's OC two to OC two. I have OC three right here. I know, but if he fails. Yeah, if he fails, it's OC2. Yeah, yes. So you're gonna spend so your one. I'm gonna spend it on this guy. Guaranteed That's a great it. idea. So, battle shot test on the crew. This is why Sticky is such, cool. such a powerful really cool. thing in the game. Um, So, Troot is actually battle shot. Okay. It doesn't matter because I stickied it, like you said, so yeah. I still hold it. Yep. Um, it's and a the weird, one, it's a one weird suit mechanic. It's gonna use insane bravery, so I go down to uh, two. Now two command points. Uh, and now I hold this objective. Yeah. And the, the Townar still needs a test because he's below half. Passes. Fine. All right. All good. Um, and then no other battle shocks, and then I score primary. Five for over here, five for over here. That gives me 10 points on primary, and I'm doing okay, I'm doing I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna double check, because someone said it, they're saying sticky happens at the end, but I believe it, it happens. It might be at the end. I believe it happens during. Huh. I'm gonna <laughs> look at the ability right now. Well, 
Well, it's it's the it's it would be. Oh, it does it does say end of command phase. Oh, well then then you led me astray. Damn it. Okay, well then obviously okay. I'm gonna sticky the crew because I want to get sticky. Yeah. So and then he, I'll, I'll risk the, the yeah. I'll risk the battle suit okay. because I'd rather sticky the objective. Yes. Okay. Hundred okay. percent. So I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna risk Good the cell suit. Thank you. Risk the cell suit. Oh, it fails. Okay. So now we can test that one. Now that this objective is now contested, so I actually only score five points on primary for holding the center objective. Okay. Take a breath. Okay. We're learning, we're learning some new rules. We're learning some, this has been a really I know great... you're sticky in my army, so like I've yeah. only people have used it against me. Yeah, fair enough. I think probably you got to read the rule for it in the individually. I've used it the... like once, and it's like yeah. But it's all good. We figured game. it out. Fieldcraft, yeah. All right. Huh. So what am I gonna do in this turn? So this is dangerous. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. I gotta kill all three. I don't know how I do that. Oh. But let's draw the secondaries. And I have drawn investigate signals. Oh no. And behind enemy lines. I can do that one. You can get yes, two. I will get that one. Investigate signals. I'm gonna spend a command point because I'm CP rich right now. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay. I'm gonna hold on because I've got two strategies I want to do. So behind enemy lines, I think I got that one. I'll move back there and probably kill that unit uh, with the breachers coming out of there. And it's all a matter of what does my town art do? <sighs> you probably kill me in close combat if I don't kill you. You kill me in shooting if I don't kill you. You kill me in shooting and close combat if I don't kill you. How do I kill all three of these units? Truth is, I don't. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Very, very interesting. There's guys in here, aren't there? That's trouble. That's trouble. So if you kill that, I have a five-man unit that I can dump out. I can't kill it. And nothing saying you can't kill it. Okay, so... Well, while I discuss, uh, decide on this, this is a perfect time. What I said I was going to do. Chris M., thank you very much. Uh, if two rules say at the end of the command phase, active player chooses order of operations, simultaneous effects, sticky still works here. Uh... Battleshock happens in the second stage. Yeah, Battle someone, someone did mention it. They yeah. said it Battleshock in happens in a subphase right before scoring objectives, so it's yeah. right before fieldcraft. So yes, yeah. Battleshock step happens first. So they, yeah. we did this right. Oh yeah. Moving on. I say. So what I said I was going to do is in between turn two and three, we're going to show one more trailer. Yep. Because uh, we have we showed a trailer All earlier things. earlier episode because we're still really excited. We have an awesome battle. We spent again way too many hours filming it. Twelve hour game. Uh, Helms Deep from the Lord of the Rings movie. We played the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game. Owen's got the trailer queued up, I believe. He does, so ready. So I'm just gonna give you a bit of grounding. We have it released right now for early access for a YouTube and Patreon membership. You can go see it right now. It, I am, I think this is the, my favorite battle we've ever done. It's my favorite ever. Uh, it's how I started this, this hobby and I'm ex truly excited. It's gonna release this Sunday publicly, but you can watch it right now for YouTube or Patreon membership. So cue the trailer while I decide what I'm gonna do here on this battlefield. This is my childhood come to life. I gonna wait for this game. Over 500 miniatures will play this epic siege of good versus evil. They outnumber us probably about 10 to one. I kinda wanna see what happens when you pull Aragorn's arms off. Change his name to Armagon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, we are gonna have to ride out. And we need to try and pray that Gandalf, at first light, comes storming down the hills with the rest of the Rohan to save us. Welcome to the Battle of Helm's Deep. Oh, okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that trailer. That's going to be a lot of fun. It is a really, really, really cool game. I was really proud of it. Anyways, let's get back to this game. I have moved in the move phase my stealth suit over here and my my uh, what is this guy called? Uh, uh, Prana. Prana. They're just now they're in range of their melted guns to be able to shoot at this big lancer and you. I'm still contesting this objective and I'm not gonna bother shooting this so at the beginning of your turn you won't score any objectives. Score this objective. That's what I'm going for here. Why, why are you gonna be like that Nick? I gotta be mean. Gotta be mean! Then Shadow Sun is going to fall back and she's gonna fly over top of you. Okay. And onto the objective. Oh, yeah. 
Can uh, she fall back and shoot or anything like that? You know what? I need to double check that. I don't think she can. I don't think she can fall back and shoot. Uh, Shadow Sun, no, cannot fall back and shoot. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. This model is eligible to shoot and turn and fall back. Perfect. And what's her stat line? Then, you know what? I don't think I actually want to get on the attack with her. I actually want to give him reroll ones. So, I'm going to fall back, but I'm going to stay on the objective. Um, she has two melty guns. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to oh. fall back, but I'm going to fall back to be within melter range of the Lancer. Why are you bullying my Lancer? I'm going to kill it. So oh, what needs to happen this round, for those of you watching at home, is uh, a bit of a Hail Mary. First thing that needs to happen is I need to kill Lancer. Second thing that happens, I need to kill this unit and then hope that I survive from all of this. Last in the movement phase, the Delfish is going to move 12. Um, I think I get onto the objective. What's your objective? Can I get on the objective and be within 10? No. Uh, so you have to be, you could be put like one guy right there. Oh, sure, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll move, so I'm within 10. Okay. And then the guys will get out and I want to get one guy on the objective. So, you so want hopefully to if I kill you... Finagle it so you can... Are those scouts on the objective? Yeah, they are. So I have two scouts on the objective okay. and I have one desolator. Okay. And cool. four desolators. Okay. So yeah, if you could put my breacher unit that's going to jump out of the of there and put um, as many as can fit on the objective. Okay. Right. So we also got to remember the three-inch coherency. Yep. Unless you'd like to... Let's do this properly. Oh, yes, I can get out first. And then you just can move. disembark first. Yeah. Move on to the objective. That's far smarter. So, so please do that. So I've got... Um, 11 guys I need to get out. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for that brilliant tactical, uh, <laughs> yeah, damage accurate. Pieces come off. <sighs> okay. Okay. Is this guy extra OC or is he just OC1, your character? Are the trailers, uh, are the trailers available separately? The Helm's Deep one will go out after this game and the other one is available right now. Yeah, it's out there. They're OC2? Uh, they're OC, yes, they're OC2. Okay. So you have eight OC on there. Okay. Is that out OC right now? Yeah. It does? Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to blast away there and then bring the Delfish in range. So now I have behind enemy lines. Perfect. So I've got my one. I'm going to not worry about investigate signals. I don't care about it. I'm just going to shoot away. So, oh, and this is the turn. This is the turn. Owen, I hope this works. I've got I've got a button for it. It's it's Monk Cobb, but that's okay. It still works. Ready for it? It worked! Monkawabunga time! <laughs> Basically, it, on turn three, I get a special yeah. ability for my yeah. army-wide Sustained? Rule. Sustained hits on everything, and if I'm guided, sustained hits two. Okay, so that's how they changed that one. Okay. Yeah, no, it's the same. That's the same? They didn't change at all. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, before we finished everything, when you move, have you moved him? I did, yeah. Did you want him to end within 12 of him? Oh, that's a really good before idea. Oh, no, he is within 12, because he has. He? that's the range of his guns. Yeah, he's within 12. Was I not supposed to roll a battle shock test? Yeah, but well, we haven't gone to the shooting phase yet. It happens in the shooting phase. It happens at the end of the movement phase. End of the movement phase. Okay. So it happens right now. Battle shock test okay. from the piranha. I thought it happened when he moved, that's why. Onto the the knight. Okay. Actually, it really doesn't matter. It does, because then if the knight survives and I have zero OC on there, I don't get it. Oh no, no, never mind. Yeah. Uh, it matters for a command point reroll for a save. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Battle shock him. He's good. He's good. Alright. But moving on. This is gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. All right. I'm going to start with. Oh, this, this is the hard one because if I guide the Townar, he yeah. gets uh, plus one to his blissful skill. The problem is yeah. that if I shoot at anything else, like if I if split, split fire, fire, he gets minus one to anything else that he shoots at. Oh, so it's a it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. So, but I think. And because I put you in a position to force split fire. I, I think I have to. So I'm going to do it. So. The Taunar is going to split fire. He's going to be guided by this one little. Uh, no, I can't guide the with the. I can't guide because he's battle shocked. He's battle shocked. So I'm going to guide with Shadow Sun. Sure. Okay. Shadow Sun is going to guide. No, the Piranha. The Piranha is going to guide the Taunar okay. into the no Knight. Answer. Okay. The Knight is the most threatening thing right now. Well, actually, all three of these are the most threatening thing right now. All three of these units are terrible. I was so, hoping you were going to move him, then I would just overwatch. No, I'm going to stay still. <laughs> I'm not going to give you that opportunity. Why not? It'd be fun. <laughs> I'm going to get um, ignoring cover. Okay. I'm going to get sustained hits two. two. Uh, sustained hits two. And uh, and plus one ballistic skill against this target. Okay. 
He's gonna fire his top guns that are yeah. anti-infantry at this unit right in front of him. Okay. So there's three big guns here. Three big giant guns, and okay. all the small little guns also at this target okay. here. Small little guns? Yep. And then the two side guns that are my uh, melta guns. Which are strength, strength 10. 10. Your toughness 12? He's toughness 12, their toughness 6, their toughness 4. Yeah. I, I, I need to kill him, but this is my best chance. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so big giant, big giant guns from the the arm guns into the lancer, the top guns that are anti infantry. Into What's the AP on the top guns? Uh, the top guns, the they're anti infantry minus one. I'm gonna make them minus two in a second. Okay, so do all your things first, and then I'll react. <laughs> Fair enough. Then I'm gonna spend. Oh, let's do this right. Okay, I gotta do the, the order of it right. Order of operations. Yeah, All right. so attempting, yes, attempting trap. One tower army that, is, that has not been selected to shoot. Um, until the end of the phase. No, that's not it. Uh, until the phase, each time all the... Right, sorry. In the shooting phase, I'm gonna use attempting trap. I'm gonna select this objective marker. Okay. And... Anything that, sh the, um, each time a model in your unit, this unit right here, yep. makes a ranged attack, uh, add one to the wound roll. Oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna add one to the wound roll here. So I'm gonna add one, one to the, I'm gonna make this my tempting trap. You fell into my trap card. Which so once he was in your deployment zone. Yeah, <laughs> one CP for attempting trap on this. So I'm gonna get plus one to wounds. So we'll actually be wounding yeah. on fours instead of fives. It's a lot better. That's a lot better. Substantially better. And then I'm gonna use one CP because that weapon is, the weapon going into this guy is already minus four, ignoring cover. So you're well, all, he's, he's gonna be on his four pinball. Yeah, so then I'm gonna use uh, one CP for um, point blank ambush, which gives me an additional So your second CP you're gonna use? Yeah, okay. second CP. So I should have one left uh, into the Templar. Uh, no, I should have none left, because I used one left, for yeah. insane bra bravery. Yeah. So no CP left, please, Owen, uh, into this unit to give them an additional AP when I'm shooting at this unit. Okay. Okay, what are you gonna do? I will armor of contempt, Albert. All right, armor contempt, which is uh, get rid of one AP. Yeah, got it. <sighs> just kind of like <sighs> gotta breathe in all that Taunar energy, and just got this. This this is my moment. Is it Shadow sign is gonna guide the Taunar into the moment? Lancer, and that's gonna get unfortunately minus one blister skill going into these guys here. All right, <sighs> starting with all the guns into the Lancer okay. from the Taunar, big giant guns, fusion. Eradicator. So I get 10 shots. I have sustained hits two, so any sixes become two more hits. Give me lots of sixes. All right. I'm hitting on three. A good chance this is dead. <laughs> I'm sure hoping so. You're at melter range. I got one six. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, but you reroll ones for... I reroll ones because of Shadow Sun, Shadow so I could get another six. Another one. Oh, I got another six. Ah, oh, don't get the twos. But so those are two more for each one. Let's hit, hit two. So all of these are hits. So I got start. I get more than I started with. Which okay. is good. These Same thing I did to you almost. Yeah. Strength ten. Okay. But uh, I'll get plus one to wounds. So we're winning on fours. Okay. And ignoring cover. Oh! Oh no! Oh Nick. Oh I. I've been there. It hurts. Oh that hurt. Look at all those fails. And these are three damage each. No, the D six. D six. Plus plus two for Melta. D six plus two. Okay. Oh. So my, I think I go up to my four pin wall. Yeah, it's minus four. I failed two. All right, uh, but I will command point reroll. Oh, that was a rough roll. Up oh, in the box. They're not going in the box. Ah, oh, I still failed it anyway. Okay. So you take five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. ten oh, to three. Sorry, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. Okay, I'm down to ten wounds. Is well, anything better than a one? Come on, guys. Down to ten. <sighs> that was rough. That was annoying. All right, continue your shooting with the, that guy. Yeah. Okay, so all the rest of the guns into this. So 10 wounds, possibly these three units can yeah, take it down. It's I've still got, doable. I've got four Meltas there, so yeah. there's there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. All right, continue shooting my commands. Yeah, so now the big giant top guns, the pulse ordnance drivers, I've got three of them, each one doing eight shots. You forgot to, every time you split fire, you don't hit the button. But every time I split fire, you hit the button. Oh, I'm going to do it. I have split fire. Again. Oh, there's no sound this time. No, it's it's on the, on, it should be on the on Oh, it's the only for them? Ah, gotcha. Um, oh yeah, I, I, you didn't give me my uh, primary points. 
for holding this objective right here. So I should have another five points, please. And uh, the audience is correct. Shadow Sun gives me a five plus, get a, get a command point back. For every so game. roll that. Uh, Everyone spent. Technically I get both, but I you can only, you only get, get one both, per yeah. turn. So, so I'm back up to one, one command point. Okay. Which I should have rolled to get another wound. Do you mind if I do that now? Sure. It would have, I would have had the command point to do so. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get one of those wounds on a four up okay. that from the town are going you're still, into. You're still shooting with that guy? Yeah, all right, cool. Game. I didn't get it. <laughs> ah, yes. Karma, you can't change the past. Yeah. All right, and then all the pulse ordnance drivers into this infantry unit in front of it, okay. trying to annihilate them. So that's one, that's two, that is three so all these guns and so now six shots each or something? i still get sustained but because it's not my target not the spotted target I only get sustained it's one okay so just, on just, fives? just the one uh hitting on fives unfortunately so but this becomes two Ooh, it's not great it's not great but these are still three damage correct look at how many threes like, like what is this my dice love threes because you split fire. Now. Oh, sorry. I have to ones. There's at least three ones yeah. in there. Yeah, reroll three. Um, because of Shadow Sun, I got yeah, one no, more. I which means I'm gonna sustain. There you go. All right. So all of these plus one more. There we go. Oh, that's that's okay. Oh, it evened itself out. Yeah, a little, a little bit better. So these are strength five. So winning on fours, I believe, or t t five or t, t four. Okay, so on threes. On threes. Uh, fail three of them still. So one, two, three, four, five, six at minus two that do three damage apiece. So yeah, so minus, two, guy. So minus two goes to minus one. one two, three, so I got five, five guys. Uh, there is a dude. He is on one wound. I'm disappointed I didn't roll better. I got move. So four up saves. Pass three. Fail yeah. two. Yeah. I didn't I didn't and roll very good there. Made another one. So <gasps> you blew this guy up. And then we'll say you blew Oh, that should have been better. Two, so I'd rather in down. Oh, oh yeah, you missed uh, the Black Templar's secondary? What, what do you have on secondary so far? You have 10 on primary. You did, you scored Storm Hostile objective. Yeah, so cleanse I got rid of for a CP, yeah, so you should and have then a, I had five points for Storm five Hostile points. So should be objective. 15 points Owen for Black Templar. And then I scored. Oh, I am an idiot. That is anti-infantry two. <sighs> we, we discussed this. How many dice were there? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so there were six dice. I failed two. Grab that handful of dice again. Just re-roll it. I'm really sorry. You know what? There was three ones. There was three there. ones. There was three ones. Um, so pull three of the dice out, and then how many are left? A lot. <laughs> no, don't roll them. Oh, Just how okay. many? Oh, sorry. I only, uh, four, I only saw five, three seven, ones. Uh, nine more. Nine more? Okay. So we'll go with that. Good catch. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm just like... Like, I don't use the towner very often. That, that, that's why I shot these guys into them. I thought the anti infantry 2 was going to do good. Okay. So, uh, got a better chance. The now. next three guys, kill two more. Okay. They do three damage. I thought these guys should do better. The castle in. Good. Good. Oh, in the box. He's dead. I still have three left. Yeah. Now we'll go with the lieutenant. I can roll two here. <sighs> that, that is a very gentleman. Yes, I agree. He is very much a gentleman. And then the last the last one, I failed. Minus two, yeah. Killed everyone but Halbrick. Okay, that feels a little better. I still have a few small guns, but it's not a ton. All right, first cannons, hitting on fives. I, okay, okay. I'll take all the sustains. I only missed one. First cannon, strength four. Or sorry, strength five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wounds, no minus. No, minus one, because of the, but then armor contempt gets away. Albert. Takes two damage. Because you have two of them. He's All right. got two of them. And then lastly, I have the smart missile system. Hits you uh, once, becomes sustained though. Okay. And wins you once. No minus. Well, minus one, but he's good. Okay. All right, that feels a little better. Did okay, did okay. All right. Moving on, we're gonna move on to the Piranha. Okay. So that was guided by Shadow Sun into there. Piranha is going to not be guided by anything. So it's just gonna shoot into the the big guy here. Okay. So he's got one melt gun which hits, which becomes sustained. Ooh. 
We need fives. I got one all right. at minus four. Still fails it. D6 right. damage. Take two. Uh, is it belt range? So four? No, it's not belt range. He's got an 18 inch gun. Sorry, 12 inch gun, and he's within 12. Sorry, 18 inch run, he's in 12 inches. Not in melt range. All right. Yeah. That's this guy right here. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This guy's not in melt range either. Uh, sorry, no, he is. He's in melt. Okay, so take two. Let's take two. All right, down to eight. And then the stealth suit right here into. Oh, sorry. Uh, then the. Um, he's got the little uh, drones. Which hit once. And whoops, no minus. He's good. Then the Melta from the Stealth Suit into the Night Lancer. That is a hit, which becomes not a wound. Not a wound. Okay. Counter shells, his 12 smart missile system attacks? Then I read that, that, that wrong, because I'm pretty sure he only has, he only has the three. His 12 smart missiles? What are you talking about? You know what? I'm gonna go on. They're only they're, they're only one damage. There are no AP. You save on Oh, two. it's just twelve attacks total. Is what he's saying. I you rolled three. six. I rolled three. Oh, yeah. You can roll the other nine because it could potentially kill him. Four, five, six, seven. You are a gentleman. You're allowing me to reroll everything. Oh, when uh, I beat you, I just want to do it the right way. <laughs> Come sustain. Yeah, the the top player just wants to see Helbert die. <laughs> and that's just gonna be funny when I roll all the twos. Uh, take one. Take two, three wounds, no minus. Well, he, minus one. He's, so goes he's only got three wounds left. He's fine. Yeah. All right. I didn't think that would do anything. All if right. I roll three ones, he We've dies. done all this. Uh, Shadow Sun uh, needs to kill you. You have eight wounds left. Shadow Sun needs to do it. All down to Shadow Sun again. Shadow Sun's going to do it. Everything into the light Lancer. Two fusion blasters. Yeah. It's four, it's four SMS guns and three attacks. That's what the guy does. I've sustained, I've sustained. Four. So that's four Melta hits. Fucking me. This guy. And wounds once. Oh. It's right 10. Uh, one second. Uh, I'd have to fail this, and you'd have to roll a six for damage. Oh, I got melt range. Um, well, no, I'm factoring that in. Yeah, go ahead. All right, just the one. Can he make one invul? No. Ooh, D6. So another one. Ooh, 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 what is it? It's D, I think it's just D6 plus two. Yeah, I think so. Because Shadow Sun, she is a slightly higher gun. Uh, yeah, it's D6 plus two. Yeah. So, so you need I need a six. A, I, need a, I need a six. Proxy. Give me a six. No, no. Three, three, five. four, five. Down to three. Is that your last No, shot? she's a bit more guns, but it's yeah. not very good. Yeah. Okay. So, so down to three. Two more shots for our, our, our missiles. Hits them both. Uh, strike seven. Uh, so one more wound at minus nothing. Oh, he's good. Okay. So that does two damage. And then her flechette launcher, which is just a little pivotal little gun, uh, with two more. Oh, sustained. does tempting trap affect everything, or just one? No, model? tempting trap is just one unit. One unit, okay. Um, I thought it was every unit, which is why I was so excited. But I, like, I, I read it wrong. Um, one time unit. The first time you use a stratagem, you must select one objective marker as a non-important deployment zone until the end of the battle. This goes your trap objective until the end of the battle. Um, uh, effect until the end of the phase each time a model the, in your unit makes a range attack that targets an enemy unit within range of the trap objective uh, add one to the wound roll let me see it's confusing it might be. me it's confusing me because it makes it seem like it's just the one unit but it lasts till the end of the battle so that, that so that's everybody oh amazing trap sorry in your in your unit so i think you nominate a unit to use this for what does it say at the top you have one tail unit from your army. It has not been selected to you. Yeah. So you start. You select then one tail. Then why does he for the whole battle? So, anytime he shoots at anything on there, he gets the plus one. But in the phase that you do it, there's a bonus. No. Oh, it says anything on the objective. So it doesn't. So if if I had three units there, it yeah. would it would affect all three units that you were just oh, shooting at. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay, got it. Because I only have one unit there. It's just one to one. The objective is marked forever. Yeah, but it, it says the objective mark is, is marked forever. Yeah. I'm confused. Why does why does he have 50 points for the Black Templar? 15. 15. Oh, that's what it is. The trap objective can't be changed. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. So I can still use I can use the stratagem every turn, but this is the trap objective from yeah. now on. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. That's why they worded it that way. Because GW is really because they have a bunch of drunk Englishmen make their rules. Yes. So I, ch I choose the, the the stratagem is basically you choose yeah. a target. Yeah. It remains that target for the rest of the game, but I still have to use the stratagem in future turns if I want to get the plus one yeah. wound. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
That makes more sense on it. Um, I think I have line of sight here. Yeah, okay. The devilfish is going to be guided by the breachers into the Knight's Rassus with its two long-range missiles. Okay. And then all of the secondary guns are going to go into the scouts. Scouts? Not my scouts. Yeah. I like my scouts. So I'm hoping these long-range missiles take out the Knight. Here we go. How dare you, sir? Hit them both. Okay. Rank 14. Don't worry. Get it to me! Oh, come <laughs> on! Why? No Dice, more CP why? for you. Why? Ah, you only have three wounds left! It's really frustrating. So I shouldn't split fire, Nick. I, it wouldn't have mattered if I'd split fire uh, into the other unit. Okay. Uh, sustained. Sustained. Uh, wounds you two times, no minus in the scouts. I love it. And then the burst cannon in front uh, hits you done. Okay. okay. The breacher unit is going to wipe out the unit of t-shirt cannons. Why are you going to be mean to my desolators? They do nothing to you. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They're nice guys. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and oh, I broke him too. That sucks. Oh, Nick. Wait. 30 shots? 30 shots. Only 30? Only 30. Okay. I wasn't able to guide them, which would have given them sustained as two, but it's still got sustained as one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five more. Okay. It would have been better. Three, four, five. Why are you pulling more dice when you got to pull? Fail. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, they hit on threes or fours? They hit on threes. Right, yeah, so just pull dice and then add, add back in. So you have a giant handful, so take five and put them back in. Yeah, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Great, so all these. And then strength six, so winning you on threes. Okay. Rerolling any fails because you're on an objective. How dare you? <laughs> What's AP one? AP one. Okay. I have three guys in the footprint and one guy out. Alrighty. Yeah. I could have guided you with something with uh, marker light. I would have just ignored your cover. Plus, they would have been more sustained. So great. Ignore covers can make a big difference, especially with AP1. Um, Freeze. Cool. So that wow. is, was, uh, this is a lot. This is basically 30, because yeah. I had five. That's a lot, that's a lot. A lot of dice. I think it's like 33 right. wounds. We have this many. <laughs> so yeah, three guys in cover. He's not there. All right. All right. Uh, you, you might do this if you... If you well, right. all of these dice rolled threes. Yeah. Or better. Yeah. Fail oh. two. But right. I feel no pain. Nope. So that's a dead Killed game. one so far. You got three left. I got Can it. I kill the squad? All right. These are your dice, Nick, not mine. Yeah. They're all great for me. Yeah, you're doing great. There so you fail go. another kill two. another. Kill the pain? No. So another guy dies. Okay, you got one guy left on the on the uh, yeah. cover. Oh. Another oh. two die. Kill the pain? Oh, he makes one. Okay, so we've got one wound left. Oh. There you go. Uh, feel the pain? Six of feel the pain. Oh. All right, so we just got one guy left, and how many wounds to take? Four on four. Four, four on. There, got him. Uh, 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 oh, uh, feel the uh, pain. Uh, oh, uh, you uh, could get a six. Uh, could get a six. No, I tried. All right, that was really close. That was down to the last dice roll. Yeah. I had a few more extra uh, wounds for, or shots from the um, commander guy, Got but okay. that's fine. So taking your home objective, I have gotten behind me the lines. I've shot everything I could. You know what, the crew's gonna shoot you just because he can, why not? Uh, he hits you once, he doesn't want to do it. That was everything. You wanna charge me? I kinda do. I'm gonna charge, um, oh, I don't want a command point, I was gonna tank shock. I'm really tempted to charge. Would um, you like to charge your breachers into my no. scouts? No. Actually, you're probably not all that great in close combat. No, two tags each. I, I would, would do it. Now you shooting. I would do it. Yeah, I'm gonna charge them. All right. The, roll, uh, roll. I think the it's breachers like, are gonna charge your scouts. Okay, hold on. Uh, you need a three on dice. Five. Five K. And then the devilfish is gonna charge him as well with a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll bink him in. Bink those guys in. Well, give me room for the. Oh yeah, come on. So I've got Shadow Sun. Shadow Sun could potentially charge the knight, but I don't think there's any point there. So the Town Arc could ch charge 
Helbrecht. What is the Townar's close combat ability? Let's check. The Townar's close combat ability is six attacks, hitting on fives, they're strength eight, minus one, two damage. It's unlikely, but it would be a lot of fun. I do have one CP, so the other thing is if you charge, I'm gonna overwatch with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna charge. <laughs> Let's fight. All right. Um, no. I'm going to charge the... I'm going to charge the Razorback with the Piranha. Okay. I just deny you shooting. Tank, you just shoot out of combat. Okay, oh, minus one. Better than nothing. That's fine. Uh, five. I don't Wait, think I can make it. Uh, he's in. He should be in. I couldn't make it in because to hit them, I had to go up and around. You just have a straight line. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, okay. So, dunk. Yeah, it just means I can't dump my, dev my devastators directly on the objective, so I gotta go up around. Copy that. Moving on. Fighting. <coughs> Breachers! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breachers! Hit on fives! Hey, I. They don't like you. They hit you three times. Okay. And they wound you once! No, wait. Before. Sustained is only for shooting? Yes, only for shooting. Yeah. You good? Okay. Uh, and no. then the Katra Fireblade. Ooh, he hits you twice. And he wounds you none. Okay. Then the devilfish hits you. Done. Okay. The yeah. piranha hits you. Yeah, yeah. Twice. Wounds you none. Uh, Strength. Six. It might. It might actually. Strength six. Yeah, it was. That's oh, one, one with a five. I'm okay. Okay. Ah, all right. Fire, Shadow Sun first. Then he can't Overwatch. Ah, uh, no, he can still Overwatch. Two. If I charge Shadow Sun into Hellbrook here, he could still Overwatch with these guys when I decide when I decide to charge here. That wouldn't help very much. No, because uh, I do it at the start yeah. of your, uh, yeah, your so, charge. Yes, the tower explodes is guaranteed to kill it. Yes, that would be a lot of fun. Razorback gets three attacks from the Razorback. One hit, no wounds, and then my scouts. So currently, if it explodes, it's within six inches of the guns to Helbrecht and the, uh, and the Lancer. <laughs> My scales into your breaches. That'll probably explode. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, that is five wounds into your breaches. Uh, four, five wounds into the breaches. Uh, save one, two, 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 two die. Two die. Two, please. Uh, I think that's us for Okay. Score some well, points. At the end of the turn, I am going to dis ditch Investigate Signals. It does not give me any points or any command points because I already got my free one this round. And behind any lines, I did score for a full five points. So I should be at 25, 6, 7, 8. 28 points and zero command points to your 15 and well, you one get one, command You point. get one command point for... Oh, no, you can't. I can't, you can't do I, it again. I already got my free one. It's true. I have so, one command point. That's and the end of the, uh, my turn three. We go to the bottom of turn three. Uh, I, I, should have tank shock? I don't have any command points for it. I go up one CP. I go up one CP. I'm at one command point. You're at two. How uh, many primary points do you score? Uh, ten. Ten. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Battle shock test. I have to roll a battle shock before that. Battle He's just going to insane bravery him? Um, yeah, because I kind of need his tank shock this turn, I think. So I'll spend the one for Insane Bravery? Yeah. Uh, and then my entire army will go into Assault's Doctrine. But insane Bravery on this means you don't have to Battle Shock, which means you'll get to use your Tank Shock and all the fancy stuff. And I hold that objective, so I have 10 on primary. Okay. Other than that, we're gonna go Oath of Moments. What's the explosion range on him? Every explosion is over six inches, but it does D6 plus three. I will oath a moment. I'm currently in range of this and this from the guns. <laughs> yeah, D6 plus three. Oh, the one with the piranha. Nice. Yeah, the guys get out, probably kill him. I don't think I need to. I think we'll... No, I'm going to oath a moment these guys. Okay. I think I want to kill them. I want to kill them real good. All right. Uh, moving, shooting. All right. Secure No Man's Land. Okay. So let's take two objectives in No Man's Land. Area Denial. And hold the center. Hold the center. That one's tough, but you should be able to get uh, you should be able to get these two objectives from. I'll break off to stay there. Uh, he needs to go kill things, so we'll see about that. All right. Uh, moving shooting, all the fun stuff. 
What are you going to do? Uh, these guys play it with like two discs apart. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. So your eradicators? No, uh, devastators. 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 They're all named something or. Countess should charge. Yeah, I'm, I'm re I was really tempted to charge. Kind of feel like I should have just for fun. So to give you an example of what would have happened, I would have used my one CP. Yeah, so we use one command point on these guys overwatching, which would have given you three lethal hits <laughs> on top of others. So now make four invulnerable. Now make four saves AP four, which I saved two of them, and you would have done. Six damage. Six damage. Yeah, you wouldn't have killed me, but then Hellbreck would have killed me if I hadn't killed him. Anymore. So then, what happens? So you take the six potentially. Okay, let's just imagine this. Yeah. Let's just imagine. We're, so playing, right. playing, we're playing. We're, we're, play, we're playing imaginary yeah. time. So then, let's pretend I charged in. Yeah. I would get six attacks. So on before fives. that happens, I'm going to do mortal wounds to you. How do you do mortal wounds to me? It starts start of every fight phase's Plus ability goes off. So right. another three mortals. Okay, so I'm down six. So I've so taken nine. Remaining. So you're down to four. So I'm down. Wait, sorry, what? No, so you, kill, you only did six wounds here. Six plus three yeah, so from public's ability. So nine. Oh, yeah, I have four You'd be wounds, down to four, four so now you're remaining. bracketed. So now I am bracketed, which means it's minus one to hit, which so means I only hit on sixes. So, so you only got hit. one six, which I do wound. That's a wound. Let's see if you save it. You saved it. It bounces off, and then you roll and kill me. Yeah. But then I explode? Yeah, I would have exploded. <laughs> Imagination is fun. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so back to back to business. Um, yeah, I should have lifted up her up. I forgot. But that's my own fault. So, yeah, uh, CP one each for CP Owen. Moves up. They hang out there. Uh, the knight will. All right, I'm gonna risk it. It's a terrible idea, but I'm going to Overwatch with Shadow Sun. Do it. He's got two Meltas. I still have sustained on sixes, so if I get any sixes, I get at least two. Yeah. I only got two shots. It's a risky play. It's a dumb move, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's have some fun. So two dice. I need sixes to hit on yeah. Overwatch. But Shadow Sun didn't get the six. She has a missile bomb that didn't get. And then lastly, she has a flechette launcher, which I got one six, which becomes two hits, which become no whoops. So, was a waste of the CP. She might but get it back on a five. Nope, I don't get it because it's the same battle round. Yeah. I tried. Well, well. Okay, so now things are happening. Uh, Wish I could overwatch with this guy. <laughs> Wants to see it happen. <laughs> Got 13 wounds. Maselia! Been like four months since I've been able to catch y'all live. Missed watching with everyone. Well, welcome back, Maselia. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Maselia, this is a very interesting game. I think, I think Gary's gonna take it. Maybe. Um, the unfortunate thing is the towner's down to 13 wounds and is about to get mulched by all those eradicators. Maybe. Um, yeah, so my movement's done. <laughs> Are you falling back with the, the, nope. the stealth scouts? No, nope. oh, they're just gonna hang out. I mean, they're better than me in close combat, so you probably That's just wouldn't down. Yeah. But the problem is, if I hadn't charged, what would've happened? You probably would've killed half the squad of shooting. Yeah, because then I shoot and charge you. Yeah, and then you do kill the whole I squad. I shoot, charge you, and de uh, ooh, actually, maybe I'll use that there. That'll be funny. Okay, uh, I got plans, all the plans. But yes, I could I could have, I could have picked them up. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with uh, shooting phase. Assassin's gonna shoot the uh, stealth suit. Makes sense. Two shots. This one, one AP two. Torrent flamer. Oh right. Save it. Damn it. Stealth suit. Now you gotta shoot it with the lancer. No, now I'll shoot it with the uh, the razorback. The razorback, right? Heavy bolting. Hitting on fours. Two hits. One linked. Two AP ones. Okay. Two four ups. Same both. Stealth suit. Uh, storm bolter. One hit. One wound from the storm water. Save it! Yeah! What the hell's going on? Go stealth suit, go! He's got one wound and he's all rocking it! <laughs> Five. Wanna play this game that way? We'll play it. So we'll do the, the combi gun into him. 
Oh, from the but Devastators from, now? Yeah, from the you're Sergeant. You're having to shoot some of the... <laughs> Love it. And then... Nine grab cannons into him. There we go. So nine grab cannons into that lone stealth man. Only three hits. I can't turn one again. Uh, when you on twos. A strength six. Yeah. AP one. Yeah. Three damage each. Save it. Save it. In the box. In the box. Come on. Save it. Oh, the stealth suit is rocking it. The combi misses. He lives to see another day. Now do you have enough to kill the, the piranha? So the uh, grab cannon? This is into the piranha, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two hits. Nope. In, In combat. combat. You gotta roll. Two hits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, charge him now. Okay. Yeah. Nine. Piranha! Nine. <laughs> um, the Lancer will... Lance is going to shoot the crew. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Might as well hit. Uh, doesn't really matter. One wound. Oh, only AP one wound? Zero. AP zero? I've got a five up here. I can do it. Crew! I did it! The crew lives on the objectives. Fine. Halberg through the window because he's touching the terrain. No, he is touching the terrain. Halberg through the window. Pistol. Uh, does Halberg have to take a battle shark test? Nope. Okay. He's above his wounds. One AP one. It has dev wounds on a four up. It's a combi weapon, damn six. it. I need a six with the crew. Come on, crew! No, you finally, finally killed him. Five. Bye, crew. Uh, they don't do anything there. Uh, oh, you're touching the objective now? Is that the yeah, he's touching yeah. it. They're taking it away from me. Okay. Uh, does she have a loan op? She does. Okay. Then eradicators into the big boy. Yep. All right, so the multi melt is. Multi melt. <laughs> You have sustained and lethal, correct? Yeah, but only on sixes now. So one one lethal. That's that's for all these guys right here into the big giant yeah. suit. T13. Uh, so then two more lethals. I have seven hits with three lethals out of my eight shots. What do you have fives? Four year olds. There it is. Uh, Chillest game, yes, it's a 2,000 point narrative tournament. So, they're, they're a 2,000 point game. So, I shot you eight times. Sorry, those were wounds. I shot you eight times, I wounded you eight times. Awesome. Minus? Minus four. Goes to minus three, because of cover. Okay, so two to three to four to five. So, on fives. Yeah, so look at my invul. Which invul, anyways. And each one does D6 damage? Yeah. Those guns are crazy. They're Meltas. The fact that you can take a big giant gun that's all Meltas. I want to take a giant gun of all milk. I guess I can with the crisis suit. Uh, I save three of them. So How many is that? Five goes through. Okay. Um, I reroll with damage as well. Yeah. I have 13 wounds. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Um, I'm going to reroll these. Yeah. Because I think it'd be funnier if Helberg did it in combat. No, he's still murdered. Yeah, he's still, still murdered. All right, so there's the no way he has out of died. However, now we roll to see who explodes. Can you reroll the explosion result? No. Okay. So it is a play on live stream, so we must reroll a failed result, regardless. Do okay. I get a six to explode? Now, to put this in perspective, for those of you who don't know, this is a gigantic explosion. It does D6 plus three damage, which is likely enough to kill the Lancer, Shadow Sun, Hellbricked, and not damage these guys. But yeah. this will be a massive Titanic explosion. Oh, yeah. Give me a six! No! But it's a play that's, why, that's why I shot with everything else yeah. first. Play on live stream. We must roll. Reroll the dice. Give me the six. No, I want the six. Ooh. Give wow. me the six. <laughs> <laughs> no boom for you. No boom for me. Brop. Um. All right, charge phase. I'll break into uh, the lady. Sadness. Yep, Six. you're in. I think she's in. Do you want to pincer move it with the Lancer? No, Lancer's going to go after him. <laughs> he really doesn't like that guy. Ten. He's definitely in. <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to... Kill, like, kill the one wound. <laughs> still suit. I'll tank take, shock? I'll take the still suit off. Callus <laughs> <laughs> uh, assassin into the um, piranha? No. <laughs> nope. I'll CP reroll it. There she goes. There you go. Assassin's done amazing. And then, uh, oh, Devastator's into, into the Piranha. I rolled a five. They're just gonna jump in too. Yeah, I just assume they're in. 
The real question is, can I hold on to the objective in the back? That's the funny one. Okay, uh, start of the fight phase. Halbrick's ability goes off. You just took five mortal wounds. Uh, Shadow Sun has, I want to say seven. Shadow Sun has six wounds. Down to one. Down to one, all right. Uh, Lancer did his thing. So I'll activate the Lancer first. I can't pile in, but I can consolidate if I can get onto the object within range of the objective, which I can. So I go to the objective. Okay. Take uh, away my sticky objective. Yeah. So I'll go to the Count Assassin. Assassin! Five hits. Uh, strength five, so fives. Nothing. We'll do the unit. The one hero stealth suit getting honorable 1v1 combat with a knight, you did play the combat out. We wouldn't have lasted the combat. You got to do tank shock first. He just got stepped on and squished. <laughs> uh, so that's two regular armor saves to that uh, piranha. Save both. Okay. Now the thunder hammer from the sergeant. Thunder hammer. Oh no. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Okay. So that one's done. Uh, Hellbrick. So because you only have one wound left, he's gonna sweep. <laughs> no ones. One one. Uh, your toughness is five or six. Uh, on on Shadow Sun? Shadow Sun. Toughness uh, four. Four. On threes. Uh, nine. Yeah, let's roll this. Yeah. Nine AP three. Yeah. One damage each. You did. <laughs> Bye, Shadow Sun. Sword. My backfield has been claimed. You strike first. I strike first. Yes. My breachers try to hit you with eight dice. Yep. And they actually hit you. Five times. Right, three? Five. They wound you twice. Oh, this could potentially kill a scout. It does. Kill someone, scout! And then the commander right. there, the cutter fireball. Kill the scout that's engaged with the tank. <laughs> Alright, so now eight scout attacks. Your oath. Right. Threes. Uh, six. Four, five, six. And you kill three. You take from the, uh, keep me on the objective, but I'm trying to take from this end. I don't want to take that guy off. I want to keep, I want to keep this guy in combat as well. I don't want you to tag my, my tank. I can't. Oh, okay. I pulled, actually, I pulled out of range of the tank. Oh, right, because I, sh I, yeah, that's right. They did. Uh, and then, because of pylons, I do that. Got it, okay. Because I have to move towards close. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh no, uh, your piranha gets to fight? Yeah, my piranha gets to fight, sure, in the infantry. Why not? Uh, hey, I hit you twice! I wouldn't do nothing. Right. That's how that goes. Yay. Okay, Nick. <sighs> okay. It's bottom of three. <laughs> bottom bottom of three. That's the end of bottom of three. How many points did you score? Uh, so I get three points for area denial because you have no, no enemy That is true. But you're not wholly within six. No. And then secure mo no man's land for five. So five, six, seven, eight hold. points for you. Puts you in the lead. All right. Going into turn four, I get a command point going up to one. You get a command point, also going up to one, so keep the command points at the R. So did you add, sorry, that was uh, sorry, five, six, seven, eight points, you said? Yeah. 33, and then I'm gonna get five points because I don't have to test battle shock yet on your home objective there. Yeah. So that'll give you another five points, and I am narrow, it's a narrow tie, but I don't know how I come, <laughs> come out of this one. You know what I'm hoping for? Capture enemy outpost. I get eight points on prime. <laughs> Hard secondary. So, first objective is overwhelming force. That's hold two in the center. No, no that's, that's kill, kill things off objectives. Kill things off objectives. Next, attempting target. What do you want to attempt with me with? Can he make it there? Do you know what? That's the tempting target. Get center it. is the tempting target. You get it. Excellent. Okay. Of course it is. I'm going to shoot out of combat. <laughs> I have three things left. I have the piranha that's on the objective. That's gonna stay in combat so it can shoot. Yeah. I have the breachers that are gonna fall back and um, and grenade the scout unit for my one command point. And then the devil fish is going to... I don't think you can make it, because with walls, you still have to go... Oh, no, it's two inches, so you can go past it. It's yeah. a vehicle. So, 12. I got a four on my advance roll. I can take the objective away if I manage to kill that thing with a Do lucky it. strike. Go for glory! 
The advance roll on the Delfish. I got a one. It's not enough. You want to use your CP reroll for that? No, I'm going to see exactly where he, no, uh, he's going to go. Onto the objective? He's going to go. Uh, yeah, so he, can shoot, so he can shoot through it. Because then he has a range yep. to shoot bonus and shots. And you can you. advance and shoot. Yeah, and if you could back up uh, only the drones on the side. You could back up the uh, the guys who have, I'm out of combat. And they can. And, and they're, they're going to grenade. grenade. So they, I use my 1 CP to grenade with the breachers into the scouts. Okay, so, oh, that's oh, a movement sorry. phase. We're still in the movement phase. Move, move. Oh, you're right. That's the shooting phase. No, I'm done moving. That's all I'm going to uh, Now you can go. Okay. I was thinking about Overwatch. Three. Three? Okay. Uh, big. Then we're gonna go with the oh, one guys. lucky melt shot into the night. One guy's in a moment. <laughs> Here we go. I need a five, because you are, no, I'm gonna guide from the devil fish, so I have to hit on a four. Okay. Give me the six. That's a five. That's a hit. Okay. If I wanted the six to get sustained at two, so okay. I get two shots. Five more. Come on, Nick. Do it. Let's do it. Nick. I got no command roll. Get out of the five! Minus four. Can I roll a four? No, no. Mm, it was a good four chance. Nick. Four I mean, Nick. I've got the little drones. Sure. Pew, 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 pew. I hit nothing. Right. And then the devilfish. You can't do it. You gotta fire the drones and the scouts. Okay. Uh, which also hits them all, except for one. Uh, one wound, no minus. All good. I think, sir. That, that might be game because there's nothing else I can do. In your ensuing fight phase. You will kill this in the shooting phase. Hopefully. In your ensuing shooting phase, you will kill that. I think we all know it's coming. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the only thing I'd probably do is I'd put them into dev, yeah. advance them up, and then shoot you. So I don't score overwhelming force. I don't score a tempting target. And you probably table me on your turn. There's really no point in playing that <laughs> Defense out. stronghold oh. and no prisoners. <laughs> there you go. I really got to go after this. Yeah. So I tried. I really tried. But it didn't work. That also shows like a like a big difference in people going first and second. Right? Yeah. So like if you would have went I second. I second. It would have forced a lot of my decision yeah. making like beforehand. And yeah. then you would have got extra shots and stuff into me. Yeah. It would have been nice. The Land Raider yeah. realistically would have stayed for one more turn. I Probably. wouldn't have put it out yeah. to get picked but up. But right? what it would have mean is that you would have had a whole turn of doing nothing. Yeah. Which is pretty much what I had. I had a whole turn of pretty much doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh well. We played. We had fun. And uh, good job, Gary. We, we, we got the game done in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> we did, actually. We did. Like, it's only 2.30. Yeah. Usually our streams take three hours. <laughs> That's fine. Well, folks, uh, watch at home. Thank you so much. Gary, you were a pleasure to have in the, in the studio there. And there were so many great sportsman moments you exhibited there. Uh, be like Gary. He's an awesome player. Don't be like me. You haven't seen me in tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and thank you so much for doing the stuff in the background there, the, the switching and everything. And folks, thank you so much for watching. And we really appreciate the time you spend with us. And I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you had fun. If you are, uh, if you want to, please consider joining us on Patreon or YouTube membership. It literally keeps the lights on and keeps us paid so that we can make all the awesome content. And you have some amazing content you can watch right now and some more amazing content coming out on Sunday and next week. And it's, it, it's a never ending stream of amazing content. Plus access to our amazing Discord. And if you just joined our YouTube membership and you are wondering how to get to Discord, you have to choose it on your side. You gotta go into Discord. You got to uh, click on integrations or permissions it is and uh, basically log in with your YouTube account. That's how you do that. There's some amazing stuff out there right now. And please join us on Sunday for the massive battle at Helm's Deep public uh, stream, or if you want to go watch it right now and you're part of the YouTube membership or Patreon, go do that now. Spiel done. Thanks again. And until we see you next time, play on! Oh, yeah.